Mwache spesi ya watu wawili kuna mwenye vitu hapa wameacha vitu zake anakuja. Eh. Hivyo tu is okay. Ngineona vila unajikokota lakini ni sawa tu. Thank you. Thank you very much. I said thank you very much. Watu wanakaanga aji. Mtu walitoka pande gani? Men, mtu walitoka pande gani? Peterson Alitoka pande gani? No, where are you minus one rip? Left. Now make it pande gani? I make it left or right? Please. Thank you very much. Ni wa, ni wa, wangapi ya wala tukuwa na wao kwa, kwa dina ya marei. Kuna watu nitafuta kwa macho nione kama nitawaona. You're not. You, your spouse is not around. Uh, we did not come for dinner, but you are here. Lift up your hands. I want to see you. Wala tukuwa nao kwa dina. Wale atukuwa nao kwa dina. On Friday. Nataka kuona kwa mkono. We were not together. Thank you. Na mmeketi mmefuatana. Nataka utafute bagi yako. Uifanya buwana yako. Hapo next. Mingine haruke. Uyo, mwache uyo space. You, 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 you occupy. Hivyo. Na kama kuna wengine wako inge, they will rush. Mana ni kianza, stake to stop. Uh, tutaweza kubarikiwa na mungu atatenda mambo mazit. Tumechelewa uh, kwa dekia the last thing. Nikuwa nafikiria nitakuwa ni mianza. 30 minutes and go. But tutaribu to catch up. So wala ambao wamechelewa, we will not... Uh, wait for them. We try to, to hurry up. So, amen. They will catch up with us. Nenda kuna watu wajia setu. Kama unanza kutemba tembea bandu na nina jabu kukupanga. Then you, you make me unstable. Are we online? Kwa nini? Tunataka kila mtu wasikie yale tumeongea. Unajua tumeongea for to the marriage. So you you can use the divine marriage wall and go live through the divine marriage and also through my account and the, even the lamb. Let them hear what we are talking about now. Say amen. 
Nasema sema amen. Uh, I want us to bow our heads and pray. Father, we thank you because you are a God. You are the one who instituted marriage. And you said for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. I thank you because you have given us this privilege to come to this seminar again to speak about our families. Let your name be honored and be glorified. Let your light, let your glory come to our families through the power of your word. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe and everyone say it. Everyone say it. Thank you very much. I want us to go to the Bible in the book of 2 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, sorry, 7 verse that 2 to that 4. 1 Corinthians 7 give us that verse But I want you to be without care. Who is unmarried cares for things of the Lord, how he may please the Lord. Continue. But who is married cares about the things of the world, how he may please his wife. Continue. There is a difference between a wife and a virgin. The unmarried woman cares about the things of the Lord that she may be only both in the body and in the spirit. But she who is married cares about the things of the world how she may please our uh, husband. Say amen. So, in short, hapo tumesoma, Bibile na tuonyesha tofauti ya watu wale wameowa na wale awajaulewa. Tuko sawa? So, ukiwa umeowa na ukiwa hoja owa, amu kwa the same Unanisikia? Ukiwa umeoa na ukiwa au jaoa au uwe bwana, uwe mama, ukiwa au jaoa na ukiwa umeoa mko na tofauti. Muna umenipata? Yule ambaye ameoa, yule ambaye hajaoa, maandiko yanasema Hakuna shuguli moja tu. Jinzi ya kumpendeza mungu. So ana biyashara mbili. Lakini yule ameoa. Ananjishugulisha na mambo ya dunia hii. Na namba tu. Jinzi ya kumfuraisha mume wake ama mke wake mwanamke tunaambiwa specifically ana utakazo wa mwili kuna nje nyingine ninaona inaingia sasa ninashidwa Oh. Kuna njukumu la mtu yule ameolewa na kuna njukumu la mtu yule hajaolewa. Tunapata hapo 
So yule ameolewa anastahili ashughulike kumpendeza si Mungu peke yake bali yule amemuoa Kama tumepatana sema amen So uko na biashara wewe ambao umeolewa umpendeze umfurahishe yule amekuoa Hiyo ni business Usiseme mimi kazi yangu ni ya Bwana Mimi nimeokoka na mambo ya dunia hii sina habari nayo sina haja naye mambo ya ndoa ni ya mwili na mwili na damu azita rizi ufalmi wa mbinguni sasa unajitetea unajifanya wa kiroho alafu kuna shinda katika ndoa yako maana unajifanya wa kiroho ndoa ina exercise you is a spiritual thing but it is made manifest by the flesh tunaeleano hapo it is made manifest by what by the flesh so you must put some effort as a man to please the wife that you have married and as a woman to please the husband that has married you kama umenisikia sema amina so yule umeoa una style kumpilisi sasa ndio nataka ugeukie wako mwambie nisamee pale sija ku please nimegundua mwambie tu kama ni kiti ambia kama ni wako mwambie muangalie vizuri ruben na mwambie pale sija kupendeza sijaweka efforts forgive me I have a duty. Mwambie niko na jukumu la kukufurahisha wewe. Tulisema hapa ndoa si kuvumiliana bali ni kufurahiana. Na umesoma kwa Bible uko na jukumu la kufurahisha yule mwingine, sio kumtesa. Muangalie tena mwambie si kukuoa ni kutese. Nilikuoa ni kufurahisha. Karo mnamwangalia unamwambia hivyo. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now I want to speak about the power of romance now in marriage. The power of romance. Niliambia watu wa kiroho si romantic sasa nataka kuwafundisha Yeah, I've been told hata mtu amekuja kwa ofisi yangu akaniambia a lady anataka ku solve problems za ndoa. Ah, uh, hey, equal relationship. Akaniangalia akaniambia but niliambiwa pastors are not romantic. Na akanipatia story sana nikamwambia don't forget you are talking to to a pastor. Sasa kuna Nataka tushike hii mambo vizuri ili tueleane. Tunaambiwa kuna kufurahisha mwenzako. Si ndio tumeambia na hivi na tumesoma. Now. Nimekutana na mambo mengi nikiwa nina undumu katika mambo ya ndoa. Na ninaona tuko na shinda watu wameokoka. Spirit field is tongue speaking in marriage. Maana bando tunapeleka hilo njambo katika ndoa mimi nikienda hapa nimetoka ama posto na niko na apostolic grace ninaenda sasa nyumbani nikiongea shanda baba utakula ugali shika raba kata raba sho kwa nyumba that is the lord my sister the grace is upon you kuna wakati wa kufanya hivyo na kuna wakati mwingine anastaili asikie ako na mume si pasta kuna wakati wa kusikia ako na pasta kuna wakati wa kusikia ulioa engineer eh kuna wakati wa kusikia ulioa mwalimu ulioa governor na kuna wakati wa kusikia mume that person of a husband kuna wakati wa kujua ulioa madam principal 
ama mandam governor na kuna kadri wa kujua uko na mke hiyo ni mambo tofauti Are we together here? Hayo ni mambo tofauti. So, wakati ambapo nina deal na watu ambao wameokoka kama nyinyi na wamejawa na roho wa Pentecost. Kuna challenge tunapitia. Nimeongea na watu wengi. Mama anakuja anasema mimi sijawahi nisikia kama mama kwa hiyo ndoa. I don't feel like a woman. Mwanaume naye anasema I don't feel like a man in our marriage. So, ukiangalia huyu mama kuna vitu anakosa. Ukiangalia huyu baba kuna kitu anakosa. Na bali alioa. Desire for intimacy was not put there by the devil. So when you feel to be intimate with your wife or your husband you are not demonic. Sio msema haleluya. It's not demonic. So kuna wengine wanasema mume akiwa na desire ya mke, mke akiwa na desire ya intimacy, anataka kuwa na wewe, anataka kusungumza na wewe, anataka kukaa karibu na wewe, unamwambia umejawa na undunia. Hiyo kitu haikuwekwa ndani yako na dunia. Desire for intimacy was put there by God. Na hiyo desire ndio inafanya mtu awe lonely. Tunaeleanwa. Na ndiye Mungu alisema si vizuri mwanaume akae nini? Peke yake. Nitamuundia mwanamke anaye mfaa na ifanana na yeye kama umenisikia sema amen so mnafanana mnafahana tunaelewa mpaka hapo so kuna vitu ambazo zinataili kuwa katika ndoa ili ndoa iwe na ladha ikiwa haiko unasikia ndoa ni ya mwili sio mimi nimesema ni bible ndoa ni ya nini ni ya mwili unashughulika mambo ya dunia hii ili ufurahishe yule ambaye umeoa so ukitoka hapa duniani hakuna kuoa tena roho azioani ndio biblia inasema si spiritual man wanaoana is the you become one flesh tunaeleanwa ukishatoka kwa hii flesh marriage ends Unakaa kama malaika. And in heaven there is no what? Marriage. That's the word. So, huyu wako mkikataa kumpendana na mkae vizuri hapa, mbinguni hakuna chance nyingine. Ati unamwambia dada tutarekebishia mbele. Hakuna ni hapa. Na unafaa umtreat vizuri mpaka hata kama Mungu anaweza change mind. Aseme ndoa zibadilishwe, watu waone tena mbinguni. Asioe Musa, akuoe wewe. Uko mbinguni. Asio Elia ama Po ama Peter wala unajua ama Gideon ama David ama Solomon akuoe wewe mtanisikia leo kwa jina la Yesu yani mbinguni Mungu akisema ah nimebadilika waneni tena So unakuja unamtafuta anamwambia tuendelee vile tulikuwa wapi duniani Mwana sasa mlipeleka Unajua kuna wengine wanasema afadhali shaitani yule najua kule kwa malaika yule sijawaiona So unaona sasa Now I want you to know this Many believers are in the marriage for the wrong reason Wengine hata bila mnaangaliana Mnaonekana mumepigana inaitwa aje friction iko nyingi friction iko nyingi na unajua mtaenda miaka mingi wengine wenu mko ten years marriage wengine less na kuna miaka ya kusonga huko mbele sasa kama mnaanza friction saa hii sasa ila mnafaa kufurahia 
Sasa ile anafaa kukimbia kona ile unakimbizana naye kona ingine unakimbizana naye sasa ile utakuwa unakaa vingine kutakuwaaje So I want us to bring that spark back where you miss to be with the other person Na si mchezo Nilikuwa nasikia Queen Jenny akiimba anasema uh, amefanya shingo yake imekuwa mrefu kama ya twiga kwa kumiss mpenzi yake Sina mmejua hiyo wibu Queen Jenny si ndio ni hapa kwa ni kangaema Eh Ni wangapi walikuwa wanajua Queen Jenny Unajua mkono kama ulikuwa umemmsikia. Unajua mnanjifanyanga mmeokoka mmeenda mbinguni na mmeacha dunia na bando mko duniani. Sidi tuko hapa. Sidi mnajua nyimbo za Queen Jane. Sidi hata nyingi wengine mlikuwa mnaimba mpaka mnalia. Ah, umejawa na hiyo roho ya dunia mpaka unalia. Wengine ulikuwa unaimba ya dunia. Inaitwa alikuwa anaitwa aji Lakdube ama nani? Eh? Unaimba sasa unaweka hiyo wibo na, na unalia sasa hiyo uko deep. Ukimwambia darling where you are remember me. Where you are I love you today. Na unalia. Jenny anasema ninafanya shingo inakuwa nini? Mrefu kama ile ya twiga. Yaani nimekonda kwa sababu ya kukumiss. Wewe unaweza ambia mume wako umekonda kwa sababu ya kukumiss. Ama anakuta umeongeza weight ni nini nini? Stress ilikuwa imeondoka kidogo. <laughs> Sasa stress inakuja. Stress ni bwana. This should come to an end. Sema amen. Muta nikubaliana na mimi. This should come to an end. And we bring that love and joy in the family. Eh? Mbaka amuna time ya hata ya kuweka chakula saani mbili. Muna weka moja, muna kula, muna mariza. Unajua kuna sa ingine ulikuwa na muangalia vila na meza sonda. Una muwekelea, unaangalia, unasikia raa vila na meza. Vila unangalia. Siku isi. Unakunyo tu peke yako hata ujali kama ukona mutu na unaenda. That's wrong. Unakula hata ulizi muke wako. Have you eaten? Auna assume unasema mtu mzima ndiye alikuwa anapika. Wewe unakula tu pa 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 pa. Na yeye anakuangalia na mwanai. Alafu mwisho unaweza muuliza ulikula anasema haikuwa ingine ni hiyo tu ilikuwa imebaki. Sasa imagine now. Na wewe sitapika akule. Ngine sema next time wewe unaniambia kuna chakula ama unakula. Sema apostle sasa hii ndio ulikuwa unatuitia ndio. Salimia jina mwambie ndio hii ndio tulikuwa tunaitiwa. Sema amina. Now. What is Romans? Nikitaja hivyo na wengine wamemekimbia kichwa sana. Romans when it is mentioned, ikitajwa tu some people think about sex. Ikitajwa tu Romans abas. You think about sex. Kuna tofauti kubwa sana. Romans is anything that you do to your partner that communicates and show that he or her is special to you. So what you do to show that this person is special. Say my man. What you do to show this person is what? Special. That's Romans. So that is why I said there must be difference between unmarried and the married. King Abimelech, you remember him in the Bible? Genesis 26. Eh? Anauliza Isaac, huyu ni nani? And Isaac anamwambia ni nani? Ni danda yake. Sasa Amalek ya kuna history. Kuna mtu waliguza hivyo. Akaambiwa behold you are a dead what? 
man na jamii yao na watu wao wote wale wa hiyo nyumba wakawa tasa mpaka wakaombewa sasa ilikuwa shimo sasa siku hiyo hakuwa na haraka akapatiana macho aone kama huyu ni dada lakini akaangalia kwa balcony akaona jinsi wanavyocheza <laughs> akasema hapo huyu si ndugu na dada hiyo mambo imepita afu wakuta wamelala siku hizi wanasemaji ukiona wawili wako kwa gari moja mbele na mwingine kwa driver hapo awaongee husband wife ukiona wanacheza boyfriend girlfriend ukiona wako kwa hoteli wanaangalia chakula tu na meza hivyo simu ama chakula ndio wanakula hakuna kuongea husband wife ukianza kuona wanacheza wakiwa nakula wako na kuna vasisha na nini boyfriend girlfriend ama mistress hiyo ni boyfriend girlfriend hiyo ni kweli ama si ukweli ulijikutaji hapo ambao amuongei Eh muangalia jirani muulize tulinjikuta aje hapo hapo yoko na unajua mko karibu niliwaambia muwe mnaangaliana na mnaulizana maswali tulinjikuta aje kwa hiyo kona That means kuna kitu muliruhusu kikaingia na hakikuwa It is easy for a man to go for another lady na gari yake amchukue kukiwa kuna nyesha na ampeleke kula anaenda lakini mke wake akipiga anaambiwa tafuta tuk tuk ama utafute dudi ama uba ikuleta nyumbani hiyo ni mambo imefanywa ama ifanywi that's why hata siku hizi tuna behave kama ananaya na safira moja anakuja for service mwingine second service na ni husband na wife hata hamuna onda ya service kama ananaya na safira unajua ananaya ndiye alienda first service na utakuta most cases men wengine ndio wanakuja first service women wanakuja second service ananaya na safira kama wangekuja pamoja kwa ibanda wangekufa wote moja angeoko ama wote wangekuja first second service wangeokoana nimetoka kwa familia mama yangu alikuwa anazidikisha baba yangu mama anatoka na mbag wanawa mzee ndiye anamfuata distance na mzee ataenda akisalimia marafiki kwa barabara sasa mama akirudi na mbag tunajua mzee hakuenda na hakuonana <laughs> wana alisalimia marafiki mpaka kukawa usiku nikaamua haendelee na safari awatembei ati tunaenda stage nan na nan eh kwa sababu hakuna haja na sasa tuko hivyo wengine tumeongoka na tuko hivyo kanisa uwezi hata tuona watu wanashikana mkono <laughs> wanakuja ama kuketi kwa kitu moja that's why napendanga couples wakati pamoja nikikwambia geukia jirani give a smile unampatia ile yako anaweza simailiwa na mwingine hapo by the time mnaenda nyumbani kimeumana aliona smile zingine ambazo hajawaiona strange i5 sasa piga wako i5 yule ana wacha wapigane sister kwa sister maana hawana brother kwa brother au wako hapo lakini wako geukea waka tell somebody you are beautiful unamgeukea you are beautiful hata kama ulikuwa umesahau umeweka tick kanisani kapo kama unasikia sema amen now there are some things that you need to do to show your partner you are special au style kumsalimia vile unasalimianga kadhalika hiyo ingine utanisikia kwa jina la Yesu habari yako leo dada Oh bwana hako na wewe. Ambia wandada wale wengine hivyo. Lakini wako 
unafaa msalimie mpaka watu barabarani wanajua that is a wife mpaka watu wanajua that is the husband sio mna mtu anakuja kukusalimia kwa ofisi kukutembelea tu hata anakuja kuite eh, eh, mwende lunch hii vile ile luku unampatia hiyo attitude unamwekea mpaka watu wanabaki wakikudiscuss kwa ofisi nasema ni tungetaka kuona wanakaanga huko kwa hiyo ndoa yao haji wala chapa unajua wengine unaona kama mchezo tulienda ku cancel one couple kwao we were invited by the man so ma- the wife went to to take the man akaenda kumtoa mahala anafanya kazi amwambie tumefika afunge biashara haje so for the first time wakaonekana wakitembea pamoja kwa kwa mtaa yao yani yule aliwaona wa kwanza akaita jirani akaita jirani nyingine wakakuja kupiga kelele nje ya mtaa kwa milango yao so wakati mama mzee aliingia akaniuliza ume aposto umesikia hiyo kelele nje hiyo shangilia nikamwambia yeye nimesikia lakini sikuelewa lakini ambia hata wanashangaa kutuona tukiwa pamoja mimi nikienda wapi hata nje na uli zangu where have you left her hata nikiingia supermarket ako wapi yani kuna mtu naye akionekana una, watu wanasema huko kwetu walikuwa naongea mvua anasema leo kutanyesha Sio hiki kuyu mnasema aji. Leo kutanyesha. Ati wanaonekana pamoja. Leo kutanyesha. Wacha niachie hapo sitaki kusema. Kuna kitu nilikuwa nasema kusema lakini nimeachia tu. Nimekumbuka tuko online. Haleluya. Angalia jirani wako tena. Jirani yako unajua ni wako. Muulize tulifika aje mpaka inakuwa tunanyamaziana Unajua kuna wengine hata hawajarudi hii seminar man after dinner ile mambo ilitokea <laughs> eh? ile mambo ilitokea wengine hawajaiona out omalisi Unaona kuna yule alienda kumwambia unasikia vile aposto alisema Mwingine naye wewe hakusikia mamu vile alisema na ikaanza na unajua ukiuliza wengine utasikia hiyo story Now Romans is born of what we call romantic love or eros love which is one of the loves in marriage there are three loves in marriage i want you to know that love number one, which is the strongest that keeps family together is called agape or godly love umenisikia that's the biggest love and hiyo ndio tumeamrishwa waambiwa husband love your wife the way Christ loved the church not the way you feel wanaume mnasikia you love your wife the way Christ loved the church not the way you want not the way you feel when it comes to agape we love the way Christ loved he sacrificed himself to the point of what death ali sacrifice sema amina penda mume mke wako kama vile kristo alipenda kanisa na tunaonyeshwaje where we are sinners christ died for us kwa hivyo ahitaji mke wako akufanyia mazuri ili umpende na agape love hata akiwa mbaya you should love her with agape love 
So usikuja kuniambia huyu ujui nini mimi nilioa huyu mtu katili sana asikiangi hailehangi amekataa kunyenyekea amekataa kuti Biblia inasema agape love has no condition Where we were what sinners Christ died for us Kwa hivyo unafaa umpende vile alivyo Agape love ni aina ya love ambayo you don't demand a change. Ukiwa unamwambia kama utabadilika hatutaenda pamoja na wewe tena. Kama ubadilishi tabia mimi si mume wako tena. Kama ubadilishi ujue agape love kwisha. Love for me. Tunaeleana. Agape love does not demand change. You are ready to stay with that person even if they don't change. And that is what owns the marriage together. It is called sacrificial love Tunaeleana unajitoa you sacrifice everything for your wife Number two kind of love is what we call filial or brotherly love filial or brotherly love Brother love is a love that exists between siblings Eh vile unapenda ndugu yako how many of you know how you felt for your sibling akiwa mbali how you felt how you shared when you went away how you came together and shared have you seen that that should also be marriage nilikuta kuna one day niliendea mtoto wangu i think it is i think it's nel tunatoka naye shule dokas na dick walikuwa wametoka belen wakakuja hapo sikuwa nimeonana na dokas sikuwa nimemsalimia Uh, so um, I'm there nimeleta Nell hao wengine sijaonana na wao badala wakumbuke kuna baba yao ametoka hata kuwashughulikia walichukuana mmoja alichukuliwa kwa mlango tu kwa gari tu baba dia hao what is the story wakaingia dia wanacheka nini nini mimi nazimama kama sanamu walipiga tu walikuja kunisalimia after wamebali sana kuongea hii inaitwa sibling love and the believe na sema let brotherly love continue that's why you married your sister yeah peterson kabla uowe veronica alikuwa nani sister in christ all men have married their sisters wengine sema hapana utakaa na hiyo baba joy mama joy alikuwa nani Siluku na muita sister. Ruben. Nesta. Siluku na muita brother Ruben. Juzi brother Ruben. <laughs> eh nimepata brother Ruben. Brother. So, you mar- you are married to your sister and you are married to your brother. Sister in Christ, brother in Christ. That's where it starts. So the sibling love must continue. Hiyo ndio mimi nafanyanga watu wacheze, wan discuss politics, wan discuss uh, football. Is a common area interest wacheze netball pamoja. Uh, unajua kama mtoto kadogo kakitaka ukaletea sister kanakwambia bring somebody that I can play with. Sijio kana kuitisha kama mtu akucheza naye. Sasa na wewe ulioa mtu wa kuchezanga na yeye. Oh my god. Bwana asifiwe. Sitaki kuwauliza wengine mlicheza nini the last time. Na ni utoto. Sitaki kumkuuliza ulimtiko lini the last time. Mwingine anasema ah ni mkali. Nataka kukuambia. Mnahitaji kwa kikuyu jege. Jege iko na miba na inawekangwa mimba, si ndio? Si ndio mnaona ngajege imezaa? Imezaa aji. Na hakuna mimba ya hewa. So hata kama we ni mkali na mna gani? Kwani we ni mkali kuliko simba? Hallelujah. So hakuna ukali. 
ni vile wasa unajichukua sasa umejiweka klase that's why there's no joy in that marriage it's dead those things that make you happy are not there and you need to revive them mpaka unakuwa nyumbani unacheza i don't seek na huyo mtu i don't seek say amen una time akiwa ako busy amekonsentrate ka unashtua yeye anaruka ah <laughs> sasa mwisho inakuwa kucheka kufurahi sasa nyingine na kujanga na muguza sasa mwingine na mtime ina very place that hata atarajini nitakuja hiyo kona ako very busy tike ka anashtuka na unaulika sasa unafikiria anga ni nani mwingine anaweza kuja kuguza hivyo na unashtuka tu kutoka hapo inakuwa story inakuwa raha mnacheka mnafurahi because that is all what we are supposed to be happy bwana asifiwe salimia jirani mwambie niko hapa kukufurahisha that's why i came in your life no muangalie vizuri na umaanishe uwezi mwambie mtu niko hapa kukufurahisha na hakuna smile muangalie vizuri mwambie niko hapa kukufurahisha that's why i'm here say man so the the filial love must exist in marriage say man i want to help men here a bit a loved wife is the one who is easy to manage ukimpatia upendo kumu manage ni easy lakini akikataa kupendwa managing arm becomes difficult eh wengine wanakuanga kama manual steering <laughs> kama umeendesha gari uko na manual steering utashangaa unaona mtu akifanya hivi akikata <clears throat> anajipanga <clears throat> lakini ile ku power steering unaguza na nini na kidole inasonga ili tu ukae kama unaendesha hivi sasa kuna wamama <laughs> kuna kanyanga tena <clears throat> maana au ni upendo sasa ku manage ni ngumu mwanaume anasema ah mimi vile a submit it is not submission that comes before love it is love that is responded by submission si kanisa ilinyenyekea kwa kristo kwanza ni kristo alikufa msalabani alafu kanisa ikanyenyekea so man is supposed to submit and you should not authorize anybody to submit the biblia inaamuru submission kwanza is to god any wife who submits to god will submit to the husband Ukiona mke wako ni kalulu na Mungu hata atakuwa kalulu zaidi na wewe. Eh hiyo ndio standard. Ukiona mume wako ako na shinda na Mungu hata wewe atakuwa na shinda na wewe. Tunaeleanwa akiwa na shinda na Mungu atakusumbua mtasumbuana. Hiyo ni jambo ambalo nataka uelewe. Na ni rais. Lakini ni ngumu. Sema amen. Then submission ya pili is to once one another so there is a way the husband submit to the wife and the wife submit to what the husband and then it says again wife submit to your own what husband to your own not to everyone say amen to that in the name of jesus tunaeleana wapendwa so wacha tufanye mambo yale atafanya tufurahi na tufurahishane say amen Now, eros love or romantic love is only allowed in marriage. You cannot be involved romantically with any other person that you are not married to or you are not proposing to love, to marry. So, it is also called sexual love. Eros love is called sexual love. Because it leads to sex. we can say it leads to sex attraction and finally to the sexual intimacy so in anza romance is the way so the couple that enjoys good romantic relationship they have held sexual life 
Marriage cannot be built on Eros love. It is a dangerous love. Eros love is a love that remains, does not give. It is a receiving love. Hallelujah. It is a receiving what? Love. The only giving love are those two other loves. Agape and filio and giving love. But eros is a receiving love. Even the inakwanga selfish is a receiving love. That's why when you know what I'm do I have naive you in a kuam biasan. Utona watu wa mekosana, awa ongei, wakona miazibili, ah, wengine miaka wanato wana achana, mtu akoviake, no na mtu ana kujanga ibanda ya tatu, mwingine ana kujanga ya kwanza, na wakai pa moja. I love all of a sudden, um, and danda me, and a beba, and a change in a murita. What is happening? Are you expecting something? And I said, My yes. You know, it's a yanan, one woman backs line. And I said, My apana, ni yababa flan. Yan in a muko pamoja, ah, tia likuja, kunyongelese, apo, to konge akidogo, si ye, mambi katendeka. Yes, the itua, eros, love. Nakutoka apo wakakosan, ten. So in a kakidogo, in ainda. Na mtu wakiwa kwa watu, maorudiani. Sasa unashangani nini? Iyo ndiyo. Sasa hizo labu zingine mbili zimekufa. Sasa hiyo moja, inakuja the kazaki. So if unaitegemea, that one will be very bad. So romantic love or the romance is cultivated in the environment of friendship. Which triggers emotional intimacy. Environment of friendship. So, when you marry, unanisikia? you must make sure, even before you come to marriage, your partner becomes your best friend. We all don't marry our best friends. Are we together? But we should make our partners our best what? Friends. Kuna watu mulikutana, mukasema roa menena. That's the problem ya ya kipentecost. Ukitumia vibaya itakuwa mbaya. The Holy Spirit lent me to you. And he said we should marry. The other one says, also me. I was waiting for you. Say hallelujah. Let us move on. You go to the pastor. Pastor, we prayed. We had God. And we know this is the will of God. We want your blessing. Pastor says, hallelujah. I bless you. You start now going to the church. You start now planning, wedding. This man you don't know. This woman you don't know. So, so in Africa, katika ndoa, hamueleanu. So you must make sure that you develop friendship. Come on, man, it's here, say my man. You develop it. Most marriages do not break because of lack of love. They break because of a lack of friendship. Friendship, I touch even I touch mutete. How many of you, kuna watu mulikuwa nao kitambo, saizu kikutana nae unamuita old friend? Na muku pigana? Kwa nini unamuita old friend? Communication ilikatika. Na ikawa hakuna contact. Automatically where there is no communication and there is no activity going on around you, there is no contact, it means friendship becomes old. A old friendship is not current friendship. It's dead friendship. So, there are some people in marriage, they are old friends. In the same house. Communication in Isha. In that marriage. Tunia tunasema hivi. And I want you to get it, please. The way the blood is to the body is the way the communication is to marriage. The way the spirit gives life to the body is the same way communication gives life to marriage. So, ukinyima marriage yako communication, munaishiwa nandamu. 
na mkishiwa na ndamu mtakufa niangalieni na sura msuri afadhali sote ninawaambia mambo mazuri so give me something give me something encouraging mwacha kunikunjia sura utaona ni kama ninawekea mambo magumu sana na sijafika ile ngumu say amen kama unanisikia sema haleluya so be a good communicator build friendship So lazima kuwe na contact, kuna mawasiliano, kuna kusungumza, kuna kule ku interact. Hiyo ndio inafanyanga urafiki uwe. One couple. Nataka ushike hivi. After nine years of marriage, the man wanted divorce. Tunaeleanwa? After nine years of marriage, the man wanted what? Divorce. Uh, not nine. After 12 years they and nine year old son so when attack and divorce now the husband akakuja na report akaambia wife mimi nataka divorce maana amepata mtu mwingine wa kumfurahisha huko so what happened the wife went and prayed and thought about it after kufikiria sana akakuja akamwambia i agree to give you divorce ah mume akafurahi sana akamwambia but under these conditions akamuliza gani turudi vile tulikuwa mbele for two months kuja kwanza tulikuaje tulikuwa tunaenda kukula every weekend on friday tulikuwa tunaenda lunch sasa ile atujaenda lunch tunaenda dina pamoja unasikia sasa tunaanza number two, every time tukimaliza process zote za kitchen huko nyumbani ulikuwa unanibeba from the dining to the bedroom na asubuhi on saturdays when you are not going to work ulikuwa unaamuka unanibeba tena from the bedroom to the kitchen na nataka turudie hivyo for two months na kukula hakuna mtu kukula kizi yake tumekuwa tunakulanga pamoja na tunaomba pamoja turudishe hiyo mambo then after two months i will give you what divorce i will sign the papers ah mwanaume akasema ah hiyo kama nitapewa hii sio nimefanya akaanza kumubeba Dia sana akafurahi sana. Maana alikuwa anaona akiwa mdogo, sasa akaona imerudi. For nine years anaona mama kioyo hii anabebwa. Ah nasema ah the day the day the day the day. I am happy to see mom again carried. Kijana akafurahi anaanza kuwa shabiki kwa hiyo nyumba. So praise the name of the Lord. Ya asubuhi the same anabebwa. Wanakula pamoja. Wanaenda dina wanaenda lunch sasa ile waendi dina haikuchukua two months yote one month peke yake mwanaume akagudua tena the wife is beautiful na anampenda akasema there is no divorce sasa <laughs> hata wewe unaweza kuwa unachoka na wako <laughs> na reason ile umechoka ni kuacha hiyo mambo ulikuwa unafanya maana ulizoea Uliacha hiyo. Unajua actions zile ambazo zinafanya u, unafanyia mtu aone ye, wewe ni yeye ni special. Tunaeleana? Praise the name of the Lord. Eh, mama anavaa, anakuuliza niko namna gani? Unafaa ukanyange nyuma kidogo, mwambie geuka, muangalie mwambie niaoke. Okay. Ngine uko akona mwana gani ah wacha hii shughuli ya utoto twende Masai na Aisha. Kwaona unafikiria uko aje kwaona una, tunarudi nyuma. Tunarudi nyuma. Sina tuna Unafaa kumwambia yes you look nice. Na yeye mzee anakuuliza niko aje. Wazee waulizi sana. Lakini unaangalia unamwambia hiyo suit haikutoi vizuri. This time umeluse weight na inaanza kuongezeka usivae hiyo vaa hii nyingine. Na unatii. 
Because mama anajua na anakuona. Una yeye anataka uwe representative. Na hataki kuonekana ukiwa na aibu huko barabarani. Akikwambia kula vizuri kula. Maana yeye ndiye ataonekana akupei chakula. Hello. So akikwambia kula fanya nini? Kula. Mpaka unone na uache mambo mengi. Mpaka ukue na afya. Maana anataka kukuona ukiwa na afya. Hataki kukuona unapotelea kwa shati. Hakuna mama anataka hivyo. Maana shida ataambiwa anakulanga chakula anakunyima. Na ni wewe uko na stress. Sema amen. So wanaume waacheni nini? Sema stress. Eh. Usiende haraka, kaa kaa dunia hii. Umalize kazi zako zote. Mpaka umente you are great great grandchildren. Uonyeshe life. Kama utanisikia utasema amen. Na unajua wamama wanaume wana avoid. Maana wamama wakuna maswali. Sema amen. Hata si mbaya maana ni bebeleko maana hata kwa Biblia wanaambiwa wakitaka kuuliza wauliza mabwana zao nyumbani sasa Hiyo <laughs> ndio Bible inasema ukiwa na maswali muulize nani Muziende kuuliza pasta muulize nani bwana zenu nyumbani Si ndio Bible imesema hivyo sasa wewe ni, ye, ni wewe Biblia imemwasainia wa kuulizwa maswali unataka akauulize nani So be ready to answer those questions Unaweza ulizo swali hata very funny. Ni nani huyo anakuja saa hii? Nasikia umbo ya jirani ina <laughs> Nani anakuja? <laughs> na uko nje? Sasa usiongee mbaya mwambie, nafikiria, nafikiria. <laughs> Inawezekana <laughs> Nimeiba <Nimeima amefika. laughs> Toko sa, sa, sawa sawa. Maswali mengine haina miguu ila inasemaka haina miguu lakini <laughs> you, na, you need to answer maana hii ndio anaulizi mm. sasa so, unaona unaona tutajenga lini sasa unashangaa huyu mtu anajua hakuna pesa hakuna kitu anakuuliza unaona tutajenga lini anataka umwambie ni mtajenga lini na nataka ajue So maswali yote atakuuliza. Tunaeleana? Maswali mengi, maswali mengi, maswali mengi. Na wanauliza. Na vile ndiye mwerefu ndivyo kuna maswali mengi. Vile amesoma ndivyo kuna maswali mengi. So ukiona wako akuulize maswali. Ujue kuna shinda kuna wengine anaenda kufanya nini kuuliza ila anakuja kwa pasta anauliza pasta niambie kuna shida gani hapa niambie kuna shida gani so answer the questions that you will ask because that's our nature unajua wanasema hivi mwanaume akiuliza maswali hiyo ni kuingiliana mwanaume akiulizwa hiyo ni utaratibu wa ndoa So don't ask questions like you answer questions. Semeni men kama mnanisikia. Bwana asifiwe. So ukiulizwa maswali fanya nini? Jibu. So tunataka uelewe hivi. The higher the quality the higher the quality of friendship in marriage. The more intimate or the more intimate you will be in that marriage and the quality of romance will be high and you will be satisfied in that marriage utatosheleshwa katika hiyo ndoa now the importance of friendship in a build emotional and physical intimacy emotional and physical intimacy Kunaweza kuwa na physical intimacy without what emotional intimacy and that, that one does not fulfill 
inafanya ndoa isiwe nzuri kama umenisikia sema amen so friendship enables the married couple to feel free and safe enough to be able to open up to one another without fear or worry or being judged or being insecure so you open up unajifungua kwa mwenzako you don't worry you are not afraid tunaeleanwa you are not insecure unajua hii nikifungulia huyu niko sawa shai wengine mme wako akikuja kuambia mimi nasikia nikiwa attracted kwa mtu fulani ananijaribu kumtoroka ana naomba uniombe mimi sitaki kuanguka niombe wengine utashika kauno hapa namwambia shaitani wewe umekuwa wa mwili na nimejua jua hii mambo sasa anaanza kukusomea eh ngina kuambia enda kwa huyo mpango wako hata usikaribia kwa afu tena unamuuliza alas dada si ndio umeokoka sema hata wewe si ndio umeokoka hata biblia si nimekwambia usitamani sasa unashidwa na huyo ndio nimwambia wa nini sasa because there's no help if you are here let me say amen so make your partner feel secure ya kwamba anaweza kukuambia anything anaweza kukufungulia moyo wake wote na haibiki wengine ukiguhusu umwambie siri atakumwok naye sasa ile amekasirika hmm? watu wameua hawezi aminika mandaras that's why kuoa mandaras ni mbaya mtu ambaye ameua mtoto na na, na hata aogopi Mungu na akiwa amesema ameokoka That's why sina si ajabu hata ukifanya MBCD. Sasa hiyo ni kwa sababu ulimwambia kuna wakati siku nimeokoka vizuri nilikuwa hivi nilipata mimba na nikatoa kwa sababu ya MBCD. Sasa hiyo imekuwa shida. Ana kugonga na Ana kugonga na Kila wakati sasa ukiwa na mambo hata ikipunguza uwezi fanya nini? Wesema. Hello be open kwa yule mwingine to the extent that and be free katika hiyo marriage that you can open up yourself and there's no fear that's the level of friendship you should go auongopi kuna marafiki you are so free with them you can tell them everything si ndio eh unawaambia siri zako zote so if you can't tell your friends and you are not telling your partner that's wrong Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So most couples are not open to one another. That's why unasikia wengine wanasema usiguze simu ya mwanaume. Hata watu wana counselors wanakucancel. Tunakwambia usiguze simu ya mume wako. Wachana naye na maswali mengi wachana naye. Mume mwingine akaulizwa ni aje umeenjoy miaka 30 na kitu kwa ndoa na huna shida na sijawahi sikia mmepigana. Akasema he nikujipanga unaweza unajipanga aje anasema mimi nikitoka kazi ninafanya kazi na Nairobi mke wangu ako huku Murang'a mimi nikienda kwa inange kupanda gari napigiaga mke wangu na mwambia kesho na kuja home nikifika stage na mwambia darling nimefika stage na gari imejaa ndio tunaondoka Nairobi Nikifika stage ya Muranga kabla sijaenda gari za Kangema na mwambia nimefika Muranga town gari inachukisha tunaikuja Kangema Nikifika stage ya Kangema kabla nichukue pikipiki ninamwambia nimefika Kangema na sasa nachukua pikipiki So by the time nimefika kwa nyumba hata kama kuna mtu walikuwa ndani hata kama kuna viatu zake hata kama kuna viatu zake zilianza kuotolewa kutoka juzi <laughs> Unasikia? Sasa nikifika kwa mama na karibishwa chakula ilipikwa nini kila kitu na yule mgeni alifanya nini? 
Walifukuzwa. Sasa sita wewe mpata maana na report. Sasa makosa ile mnafanya, mna surprise wa mama. Pap! Unagonga mlango. Mama kama uniko. Alafu unakutana na vitu vingine unashtuka. Sasa ndio sasa nimeleogopa hiyo heart failure. Ndio nafanya hivi. So, hata wewe umeokoka unataka umanejiwe hivyo? Hello. Unataka hata wewe unamanejiwe hivyo? Ha? Mwingine akasema, mimi nilitoka nikitaka kusurprise wangu. Nikatoka mbali. Nikakuja nikamtupa. Sasa hiyo ni nyam surprise. Nimemnunulia vitu nini kuingia nikakuta viatu. Nikona hizi za mwanaume za mwanamke. Kuingia ndani, nikakuta mtu hata amefunga lesa, ameketi. Nikamuuliza habari yako. Nikaniuliza nikusaidie na nini? <laughs> nikusaidie na nini Sima, mimi ndio na style kukuuliza hivyo kama nani na sijawahi kuona hapa Sima, huyu ni mume wangu <laughs> ndio hajao hata mimi ni mume wangu sasa you can imagine that shock umeshtuka ulikuwa umeenda kutembelea baba timu na unakuta hiyo mambo iko what do you do that's pain these are events. Those are people who don't know God. Wengi wetu hapa tulioa mbele ya Mungu, hata tukuoa bali and God became a witness. Na ukasema nitakupenda, nitakutunza, nitakuwa mwaminifu kwako, ukaapa hiyo yote. So you need to be open. Tunaeleanwa, unahitaji uwe mtu wazi mwenzako anaweza kukuelewa na anaweza kukusaidia because of time nilikuwa nimesema tunaweza uliza maswali from the dinner yale ulibeba na yale yako hapa if you are not written write it quickly na utaforward kwa my wife nitampatia dakika aende nyuma achukue leo nataka awe anisaidie hivyo ili hata wale wanafanya ushering wa concentrate sikie sema amen so write down the question you would like to ask hata si lazima iwe related na yale nimefundisha anything related to marriage si lazima useme ni wewe umeuliza write down then hand it over say amen tunaeleana hapo so don't judge the other person don't make them insecure because you have their report una wa mock nayo Sema amen. Now couples wale ambao wako na high friendship enjoying greater marital satisfaction. Kama urafiki wenu uko juu, mtafurahia saizi. Mtatosheka, mtakuwa sawa katika hiyo marriage. Now, emotional connection between couples is more important than physical intimacy. Emotional connection Wengine wana mnakumbuka wakati wa covid. Si ndio mnakumbuka? Walikuwa wanasema kuna ile inaitwa social what? Distance. Do you think that was social distance? Mm-mm. it was physical distance. Lakini emu yao ilikuwa ni kuleta social distance. That was their problem. Not physical. That's why hawakutaka kusema physical distance. One meter. Walisema keep social distance. It is not social. It was physical. Physical distance. Social distance. You may fail to keep it. Ata mtu wako America na uko hapa. And you are still socializing. Tunaeleanwa. Still connected. Muko connected na yu mtu. Physical distance. Ni yu sasa one meter away. Two meters away. Physical distance. So marriage ikiwa na emotional connections inakuwa more satisfied especially to the woman woman is an emotional being tunaeleana 
She is so emotionally connected. That's why they are hurt by love. They are hurt by that. Because men tend to use reason more than emotions. Women use emotions more than reason. Sense of reason. So that you are good. Analia, ako affected. Usiano kiaribika. Doa itu anasinda yendi ako more affected. Rezaona mwana ume kimia umana na hata ajali. Emotionally ako. Kabla aguzo emotionally imeenda sana. Very few. But the woman will be touched immediately. That connection. Iko pale. So when the woman ako secure emotionally. Ako sawa. Wegino nasema research inaonyesha ya kwamba. Those who are emotionally connected. It is better than five times physically connected. So it pays more to be emotionally connected. So kuna couples waliachwa kuwa na intimacy ya kimwili. Lakini so, uh, uh, emotionally they are not what? Connected. Una, una murusu wa lale na wewe mana ni mume wako. Say my man. Ama unalala na ye kwa zao mni muke wapi. Na kutoka hapo, there is nothing more. Hakuna emotion, hakuna connection. Amba yuko katika tienu wa wili. That's why there is a problem. People don't enjoy that union together. Because they are not emotionally connected. Let us take our emotion back to where it should be. Say amen. Sex is more fulfilling in marriage when romantic love is at work. Tunaeleano? So hapo dio watu wanakaa vizuri, wana enjoy vizuri, na isiwe na shida. I want you to know this. There are high cases of infidelity in the church than ever before. And to make the matters worse, these are the people most affected. Pastor's wives, hello, and deacon's wives in the church. So in Amanisha, pastors are busy in ministry. Deacons are busy helping who? Pastors. And what is happening in their marriages? Breaking. Man, hakuna ule usiano. You remember kuna uh, mama wa huku njirani wetu alienda kotini kwa inji yao. Ili koti ya muru buwana alale na ye. Mwana haku wa melala na ye si hili kwa miezi gapi. Hii si hili seven years bila kumuguza. Mbaka koti ikapea na onda. <laughs> Mume haende alale na muke waki. Na hithibitishwe. Hamelala na ye. Na koti ya ambiwe. Hamelala na ye. Iki akikata. Manalamiko ya rudishwe kwa njanji. Njanji ya shike yeye. <laughs> kwa sababu, ameshidwa kufufiu marito right. That is, that is bad. Kuna wengine muke wako ana mbodines ya kuenda kwa judge. I, I, I remember I talked to a couple. My wife is a witness. She was the one dealing with the wife. I was dealing with the man. And the wife told her, Mimi niliamua kukaa kama mjane. Nikasema wajane wanakaa. Wanaume, semene men pole muko. Ni wapatie siri moja. Muko tayari. Kama unataka kukaa kaa. Chini ya njua. Usiende njiguni mapema. Usiruhusu muke wako. Alie kama mjane. Naambia buwana kuja uwe buwana yangu. Mungu si bwana wa wanawake wote. Ni bwana wa wajane. Ah, ni mungu, ni, tunasema mume wa wajane. Na baba wa mayatima. Saa mke wako atalia. Because atimiziwe yaki yaki. Na anaita mungu. Ili mungu achukue over. Nasima wewe wewe kando. So kama unataka kukaaka. Fanya kazi yako vizuri. Ndiyalisema ishi na mke wako kwa kuelewa. 
ili maombi yako yazizuiliwe so mke wako ako na power ya kukuzuilia maombi yasiende through kama umeanisikia sema amen so uhusiano wa mke na mume umepewa kibali sana na Mungu so i pray you take your relationship with a lot of weight ya kwamba utunze mke wako na wewe mke utunze mume wako mko na majukumu ya kufanya usimwachilie akae kama ana hana mke na wewe bwana usiachilie mke wako akae kama hana mume kama umenisikia sema amen umenisikia na msisahau kuandika maswali maana niko karibu sasa kujibu hiyo maswali sema amen Proverbs 5 verse 19 As a loving deer and graceful dog let her breast satisfy you at all times and always be enraptured with our love So that is how you are supposed to be satisfied with your wife say amen Unafaa utosheleshwe na yeye Ukimwangalia unatosheka na yeye So Romans must be present in every marriage it is not only for the newly wedded romans must continue throughout the marriage life so you must be kind and attractive to your spouse always sema hallelujah you must be what kind and what attractive so kama ni mke Make sure you are attractive to your husband. Eh? Usikae anakuangalia anashindwa huyu ni nani. Unajiachilia within a very short time mtoto mmoja tu unazeeka kuliko grandmother wako. Mpaka mkitembea kijijini grandmother ndio mzuri kuliko wewe. Anaonekana sawa. Maana vile unavaa, vile unakaa unajiatilia unajua kuna watu wanakaa doe tu wanajiatilia fienyeji kutoka asubuhi uko nyumbani mpaka njioni haujaoga wengine kama unanyonyesha unanuka maziwa mtoto ananuka kitanda inanuka kila kitu mpaka mzee anatafuta time ya kukaa nje si time ya kukaa nyumbani maana hataki kukaa na wewe sana especially kama umeoa mwanaume smart anakaa smart anataka nguo imepikwa pasi imenyoroka anataka kashati kakosawa na wewe uko kienyeji ukifua nguo inakaa kama inatafunwa na ngombe alafu unapletea hapo mtapa utakipata raf in that marriage it will be not good Are we together hapo? Be attractive. Vaa vizuri. Mume wako asikuache kwa nyumba every day. Wewe umelala kwa kitanda. Ninaenda. Yes, bye. Uko na kistoking kwa kichwa uko na umelala na t-shirt, umelala na By the time anaenda kwa ofisi ama anaenda kazini pale anakutana na warembo wamenyorosha nywele ziko hapa marida wamevaa yako sawa. Wanamwambia welcome sawa na smile. Anaona ile beauty. Alafu wewe anakumbuka uko na vitu huko uli, uliacho vile unangorota uko na kistoking kwa kichwa hana image nzuri ya kutembelea katika ile office Hello looking bad so akiambiwa welcome sir hainamiwe mara moja huyu ako na marashi ya inai huyu ako na marashi akiangalia na unajua wanaume wanapenda kufanya nini kuona sasa kile aliona haina history Anajaribu kujikumbusha wewe akukumbuki. Ndio anasema I don't know who I married in more. Maana anakumbuka ukija kumuona kitambo, nywele ulikuwa unaweka sawa, kila kitu ilikuwa sawa. Unaenda ukuwa smart mbele yake. Unaketi sawa, anakuangalia anaona this is the woman. Daisi unanjiachilia. Asubuhi alikuwa na kistoking hiyo kisticha tu unalala naye kimeandikwa uhuru juu. Alafu kama blue bird. <laughs> ama kola yani you, you carry bloody names kwa hiyo nyumba yako eh 
na ile shuka nayo umefunga niwe kuandikia mume wako medhali asiyefunzwa na mama yake atafunzwa na ulimwengu hiyo ndiyo misamiati umemfungia <laughs> afadhali hata hiyo ya siku njema uonekana asubuhi kuna zingine zipo ngumu kitaka sha mguguni shali tu uiname sasa ni mume wako unaambia hivyo kwa kwa lesu. <laughs> let us change be attractive be nice valia vizuri siku moja nilienda kununulia my wife go nikaenda kwa boutique nikamwambia mtu anauza na kumwambia nataka nguo ya mama akaniangalia hivi akanuza mama yako ama mke wako <laughs> nataka ushike hiyo mama yako ama mke wako oh nikamwambia mke wangu kaniambia za mke wako ni hizo na hata ukitaka za mama yako ni hizi <laughs> Una, unasikia sasa nikajua sasa kuna nguo za mama yangu na kuna nguo za mke wangu Ziunona wengine mko na watoto wameanza kuwa wakubwa unamtembelea shule hataki kuongea na we. unamuliza uko na pocket man mm, mm. ni kuongezie mm. ngapi Mia tano. Ana kuonyesha. Mia tano eh. Wacha nikufanyia elfu kana cheka. Ana mami bye. Maana umekuja umevaa na hataki kuonekana na wewe, mtandiskasiwa. Maana zile nguo umevaa hakuna zile zinaendanisha na nyingine. Zinateta vile uko. Na vile anaonekana. Na akiona ukiwa smart, anaenda anakuja kukusalimia akiwa polepole. Anaenda polepole because now you look nice. Naambia tupigwe kapicha. Hutakaki kapicha na mimi mami niko na haraka. Ah unaona hiyo kipicha hata ataenda kuonyesha nani. Ndio unakaa. Maana amekufundisha na umekataa. Ndio uko. Kuna wengine wako na current. Anakaa anaanza kukusomesha anakwambia mami vaa hivi. Weka linda namna hii. Iko hivi. Iko hivi. Maana wao wanajua vitu ambavyo usomi. Uko na wao wamefika form 2. Haleluya. Hiyo inchi wameanza kukufundisha. Wanaanza kukuonyesha vile unafaa kuvaa. Sasa kuna vile utaenda hata ukiwa baba yao akutoroke. Shule maana unakaa mbaya, auzi nimeji nzuri kwao. Na kuna wakati atakuona ah, my daddy has come. Because vile unavaa hata wengine wataacha wakikudiscuss. Huyu mama yenu anajua kuvaa, anakaa this. Baba yenu anakaa namna hiyo. Sasa kuna vile utaenda unawaibisha mtoto kukwambia mami utakuja eh, ni wewe unakuja eh, ni wewe <laughs> yeye ni mimi kama ni wewe tafadhali mama vari nda yako fulani unanisikia ile 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 fulani umesikia mama mm, na kichwa naye iko aje unamwambia ni shukwa sio kama kwa wivu ulikuwa naye nice, saa ile sema hapana iko hivi at least but make sure umetengeneza kichwa vizuri anakupanga ili usikuje kumharibia sh- makao shuleni eh? sasa ndio wengine wanasema mimi mume wangu anitoi nje hata kutoa nje aje ukienda salimio usema this meet my wife so and so eh wengine wanaona kama mchezo there's a lady the husband ali backslide akatoka church unanisikia that's why town mnafaa muingia dhari sana town ingia dhari sana aka backslide na akatoka church kanisa ile anapeleka familia anawapeleka asubuhi anaenda ingine kumbe ile anaenda ingine anaenda kukutana na mrembo fulani sasa hiyo hana familia. Ameenda na gari, mama asubuhi na ka, watoto wawili, alikuwa na two children. Amewapeleka nyumbani after first service, hiyo service nyingine main anaenda mahali pengine. Wanashikana na msichana. Wakaka. Msichana sasa amejiangukia mtu brother, brother mzuri na ni rich, ako sawa. Brother, e, mwanaume ni, ni zile kanisa azija simama. So msichana kulala na yeye si shida. Wakiwa wanangoja wafanya nini? Waone wanajaribu doa kama itafanya kazi so to cut a long story short they went on na relationship wanalala 
Huyu msichana alitoka kwa background mzuri. Mama yake alikuwa amemtrain. Alikuwa amepitia pain ya ndoa yake kuvunjwa na mwanamke mwingine. Na alimfundisha akamwambia my daughter, hata wanaume wote wakiisha dunia hii ni aindi. Hautawahi endea mwanaume ako na nani? Na mke. Na hiyo danda alishika hiyo mafundisho na akaendelea. Lakini alipogungana na hiyo hakujua kama ako na mke na mke. So, to cut a long story short, rafiki yake aliona kwa Facebook huyo mtu ame post mke wake na watoto wake wawili wakiwa wamepigwa picha kuna picha walipigwa so aka akawa suspicious unajua women are very sensitive akisema huyu usioni kama sister yake hata bila wamesimama na watoto huyu si sister yake hata abemileke alijua mm, Rebecca sio sister ya Isaka akaenda akauliza akachukua hilo akajitumia hiyo photo akaenda akauliza hiyo rafiki how do you think Hiyo rafiki akawa suspicious na yeye. Akasema ni sisi yake. Akasema hapana tuna doubt. Akasema wacha tufanye utafiti. Na wakafanya utafiti. After huyo ndugu amemdrop, alimfuata polepole pole. wakaingia kwa gari yao wakamfuata polepole. Pole. Wakaona pale ameingia. Waka note as it. Amana alikuwa amewahi mpeleka kwake. Alikuwa amezoea kuja kwake kwa msichana. Then from there msichana the following day akaamka asubuhi anataka kusoma hiyo compound akaona mke wake ametoka na watoto ule alikuwa kwa picha kile anaona picha akatoka na watoto akawapeleka shule huyu naye akamfuata watoto wote walikuwa naenda shule akaenda aka, akaona ame drop watoto shule sasa yule akashuka kuona watoto pale wameingizwa ile shule wameingia akaangalia mama sasa akanjipanga maana hapo ni shule haenda jintrondishi kwa hiyo mama na mwambie wako na uhusiano na mume wake amsamee hako anajua kama ameoa maana mama alikuwa the lady was so guilty lakini vile aliona mama kichwa mavazi sura akasema yule jamaa ako na aki <laughs> ya kudanganya man the woman is not attractive at all alisema hata kama mimi ni mwanaume ningetafuta mwanamke wa kando wa ku wa kufanya tu nifurahi so kutoka hapo mnanisikiza huyo msichana akiwa anataka kusema akaenda kwa rafiki yake akamwambia mimi nimeshindwa nita break aj huyo ni mwanaume ako na haki ya kwenda nje Ukiona huyo kama ndiye mke wake. Huyo aguko bicha. Ukiona. Na vile huyo mwanaume ni staff. Eh. Hey, huyo hey. ataenda hivi. So akamwambia sasa nikienda nimwambie tumem break. Atatafuta replacement. Sasa so, sasa unataka tufanye nini? Turundishe muke kwa form kwanza. Ili tukio nikiondoka at least ni secure hiyo mara ijasiende kwingine. Sidi sasa akaanza kuwa na urafiki na na yule mama pole pole. Yule mama akavutiwa na yeye, akamuuliza unapakanga nini uso? Uso wako very smooth. Niangalie vile niko. Akamuonyesha anapaka nini. Then akaanza kumuuliza eh naye unaona vile uko na smart ship. Lakini vile hujaolewa ukiolewa ukae kama sisi. Akamwambia hapana. Si lazima ukae hivyo maana umeolewa. Akaanza kumfundisha pole pole vile atafanya ataanjikubali maana alikataa alipo alipopata mtoto wa pili mwili ulifunguka po sasa akawa kimkubwa sasa bwana alikuwa amezoea kumubeba abebeki tena eh hey, hey, hey. unataka mnisikize eh? abebeki angaliki tena tumbo ni kubwa ni kama ni mjamuzito tena so anakaa kama amekali full time na hakuna sasa akanjiachilia akakaa hivi so huyu msichana akaanza kumtrain akaanza kuji accept them akaanza kujog akaanza kujoga asubuhi akaanza kuangalia diet anakula nini akaenda akasukwa na huyu msichana zingine alikuwa anatumia pesa za bwana yake kumpeleka saluni anapigia bwana anamwambia nataka 50000 niko na imagine bwana anamtumia na hawezi tumia mke wake 
naye anapeleka mama saluni na sio tu mama na shopa nanua marida mpaka siku moja mzee aliona mama ameshukwa nywele amevaa akamuliza eh what is happening ni wewe ama ni mwingine akamwambia ni mimi na unajua sasa mama alikuwa amejua mume wake ana cheat alimkuta akiongea kwa simu sasa akakimbia kwa yule msichana yule msichana anakimbia kwake ndiye walikuwa wanaongea na bwana yake lakini amwambi paka finally mama akarudi shape akawa na confidence akarudi ofisini tena kufanya nini kufanya kazi ako sawa mume akaanza kumfuata tena kama vile alikuwa anamfuata kabla amuoe kitambo sasa wakati yule mama aliona hivyo ndiye akambreak akasema yule msichana mlikuwa mnaongea na yeye kwa simu unasikia wakiongea ni mimi na kama reason why siku mwacha siku siku kuambia siku ile nilikufuata tukakutana na wewe shule ni vile ulikuwa ningekuacha ningemwambia nimemwacha angetafuta msichana mwingine ndio the reason why niliacha assess na yeye from that day atuja wewe lala na yeye lakini nikasema i take time to make you fat hiyo ndiyo competition na compete kwa na compensate kwa sababu ya kuchiti na bwana yako bila kujua mama alisikia bitter because ako betrayed by the best friend lakini akaka after sometimes akasema she was right the from hapo wakarudiana na wakaa sawa so unaweza kaa sura ambayo bwana anakuangalia ukiona bwana yako anakuangalia anatingiza kichwa na ongee kuna mambo mengi wanaficha huko ndani jitengeneze jifanye nini jitengeneze so from there be doing activities together zile zinaonekana mko pamoja go for lunch go for dinner go for walk sema amen tembeeni kutoka mahala pale junction muingie kwa nyumba mmeshikana mikono and then walk around up and then kwa shopping pamoja eh hata msimame hapo kwa kioski mkunywe sonda mkiwa mnapita tunaeleanwa do something together hiyo itafanya muonekane mkiwa close shikaneni mkono hmm? mshikane nini mkono msaidie kama uko na gari kufungua mlango once a while mu appreciate vile anakaa kama unanisikia sema amen kama yeye ni mrembo mwambie yeye ni mrembo na hakuna mwanamke si mrembo na hakuna yule atakaki kuambia yeye ni mrembo na ukimwambia you are beautiful urudie tu you are beautiful you are beautiful vile unasema ndivyo anasikia kucheka hivyo hivyo tu hivyo ukiongeza ndivyo anacheka ukiongeza ndivyo na wanaume nao uchoka tunaeleana hapo Mungu atusaidie. Nataka sasa kuchukua maswali because of time. Mom, you can pick those questions quickly. Yeyote ambaye ako naye unua mkono. Si lazima patiana So as you give the question I want to tell you give Romans attention that it is sad Hata wanaume ka attractive Kama mke wako apendi mandevu wacha kuweka mandevu Sema amen Kama apendi mandevu usiweke nini kama anapenda unajua kuna mwingine akikuona ukiwa na hiyo kidevu hiyo anastuka na apendi sio anataka unywe kuna mwingine anataka kuziona zikiwa kubwa hivi muweke kama anataka kuziona hivi tunaeleana praise the name of the lord so even you look attractive man shave kama uja shave kichwa chanua ile nywele zikae sawa sawa onekana presentable ukae kama baba wa mtu na mume wa wa mtu 
Usitake kukaa kama ka kijana na umeoa. Sema amen. Usitake kukaa kama vijana mpaka mama akikuja akisema huyu ndiye mume wangu wanashtuka na muita kwa vijana wale wadogo. Anashtuka. So believe. Onekana ukiwa mume. Sema amen. That you can give counsel to your to your children na to your wife. Na ngoje hiyo maswali na wale wanatoka toka sasa usitoke na sababu ni wakati wa maswali. Sema amen. Nasema sema amen. Now kuna vitu ambavyo mnafaa mfanye apart from hiyo kutembea pamoja, ku devote kuwa na time, mke wako afai compete kupata attention kutoka kwako, msikize, mpatie hiyo time. Those are the things she needs. Na mkiwa mnatoka nje, mnatoka nje sometimes unaweza kuwa peke yenu, mnaweza kuwa na watoto, msizoea kwenda nje na watoto because watoto wata take your time away, amtakuwa na ile time kwenu na nyinyi na kuna wakati wa family na kuna wakati wa nyinyi wawili sema amen ili muweze kuwa na muda wa nyinyi wawili kuzungumza na saa hiyo kuulizana maswali kama unataka kuuliza sema amen nasema useme amen so there are some things that should happen between a couple and this is romantic no no niko na maswali kidogo nilete wengine na ngojea kabla nieleze hivi kuna mambo ambayo yanafaa kutendeka within a, between a couple. Say amen. Ukisoma Song of Solomon 1 verse 2. Wekewa kwa screen. Uzi usiseme ni mimi ninasema. Song of Solomon 1 verse 2. Can you read? A a soma. Si mimi nasoma. Aha. Hiyo imeandikwa wapi? Iko kwa Bible yako. Bwana asifiwe. Iko kwa Bible yako. Imesema aje soma let again. Mnaogopa kusoma. One, two, go. So hiyo ni mama ndiye anaitisha. So there must be passionate kissing in marriage. Passionate kissing in marriage. Say amen. That is one way. Kissing is not making love. But it is important form of intimacy between a couple. That's why you don't kiss anyone. It is an important intimacy or a uh, form of intimacy between a couple. That is a way of being intimate without going all the way into making love. Say amen. So it is important to encourage that form of contact in marriage. Tunaeleana. Sasa kuna mtu ananiuliza na hapo sasa ukiwa umeoa mtu ambaye hata kuaji mshinda hapo utafanya nini? Mfundishe. Atoke kwa ile tradition. Unajua kuna wengine kuahagi ni shida. Kuna wengine kutoahagi ni shida. Ukikataa kumwagi anasema hata hujaniguza. Ukimwagi unasema wacha utoto. So You are wako ni waina gani but you must be trained say amen Tunaeleana So understand that there is a way you can show that you are intimate with your person with your husband with your wife Si lazima muwe mmelala pamoja but that is a form of closeness Na mkiwa mmeoana this can be so used na unasahau haraka So make it a routine so that you don't forget make it set it in your mind this is how i will greet my husband this is how i greet my wife abuse me amen bwana asifiwe 
So you have to understand that. Naweze kufanya hivyo. So, wengine, in the morning when you wake up, uh, the way you greet one another, you need to build that intimacy so that you make it regular, so that you are not used to it. Na hiyo ndi nafanya sasa, munaeza kaa, hata wengine munaamuka muongei, kila mtu anaingia kwa shughuli yake mwingine yake mwingine yake mwingine yake mnaweza jikuta saa zimeenda mpaka saa 4 au jaongea because mulizoea salimia jirani mwambie hiyo tabia tuache hiyo tabia tuachane nayo muangalia nikiona muangaliani mnanistua mwambie hiyo tabia tuachana nayo sema amen tuanze kuwa regular tuwe karibu tuwe tuwe tuna Shirikiana kwa pamoja. Another important thing, apart from that, value and give your sexual intimacy a priority. Value and give your sexual intimacy a priority. Tunadeano hapo? Bwana asifiwe. So romance in marriage requires commitment. That is something that you should do. Then valuing your sexual life and using the opportunity that you get to exercise it, then you get a great value and that is sparks love in the marriage. Hallelujah. Sasa kuna watu wanakaa miezi tatu au waguzani i wish ninge siku master nilisoma kitabu ya uh, Doug Mills alikuwa ameandika yeye ni doctor mimi si doctor lakini ameandika sexometer ya kumesha if your relationship is health or unhealth anasema if you can have intimate relationship Two times a day or three times a day or once a day. See, that is unhealthy relationship. Very, very healthy. Once each every day, for those who are working and a busy couple, that is a bit, a bit, a bit uh, health. It is okay for that because the couple is good. Once every month, a, a marriage that is starting to strain. Once after every two months, they in quarrel and separation. Once after six months, crack down. The marriage is breaking. So, yenu siju inaindanga aji. Kuna wengine nasema yangu ni Friday. Na ikipita, hakuna siku ingine. Kwani we ni mchawi? Kwani you are a ritualist? Unajua <laughs> kuna ritualist? Ambao wanaambiwa, mambo wengine, usifanya siku fulani, kabla ya wakati fulani. May God help us. Hey, you can read, take a microphone, read for me. Say my mind. And I hope it will listen yale mambo na nataka kukava. Hii ya kue hapo na nitashukuru sana. You can go sit. Uh, kama ni hapo, tuta, tutaendelea vizuri. Go and read. Okay. Nikijibu ni bila mtauliza. Sasa niko ready. Yes. Ask. Okay, somebody is asking um help us we are losing interest in having sex both of us. You are losing interest yes. in having sex both. Both. Hiyo ndio hii mambo tumezungumza. If romantic love dies, sex love sex life is what is affected. If that friendship is broken, that is affected. Tunaelianwa? So there are things ambazo you must spark between the two of you. Another thing, pia hiyo inanditameniwa, how are you relating? Amwezi kuwa munahagi ukila wakati na muwe na feelings za one another. Tuko sawa? Mutu wa meahita mwingine ngombe ya subui alafu njioni akuja na feelings zake. Iweze kani? So you keep that person in the right environment, especially the woman. 
So anza kumuonyesha unampenda vile umemvalue vile ako na maana vile ni wa maana kwako then that puts her into that spirit tunaeleanwa unajua mnakaa kama hata ni kama mtaki ku receive what i'm telling you you are not encouraging me to say more mnataka ninjibu na statement moja na ninyamaze si amuniambi bring more let let us receive more sasa hiyo niachie hapo so you need kama ni kutoka asubuhi muandikie message sema amen muambie vile alivyo mzuri hiyo ni kwa mwanaume kwa na mwanamke vile anakupendeza vile ni wa maana by the time anakuja kwako that evening amekuwa mawazo yake yamerejesta the same way if it is your husband pia ni vizuri kumuandikia umuonyeshe una unamiss na unamvalue Tuko sawa? Sa ukifanya hivyo I don't have time. Ni time si nani ningekuonyesha mambo kama kumi ama kumi na kitu yale ambayo unaweza fanya to keep your romantic life alive without involving even sex. But it akusaidia to build your life as a married person. So ongea vizuri, fanyeni mambo pamoja, tembeeni pamoja, kuwa na muda wa kuchat kwa na time ya kuzungumza, kwa na time ya kuandikia yule mwingine messages za kumuonyesha unampenda na unamvalue, then utamleta kwa that connection. Sema amen. Number two, Pia unakula nini? There must be an health uh, diet in that marriage. Kama unapea bwana yako indomi kila siku. Ama unampatia mchele kila siku ni wali na chips na ni mwanaume itafika somewhere ya generator ianze kufanya nini kuzima pole pole inazima kwa sababu ya ile chakula unapatia mume wako mpatie chakula ambacho kinaleta nguvu ndani ya Mungu sema amen so fanya hivyo na utakuta ya kwamba ile interest itarudi pia ombeni pamoja fanyeni mambo yale mlikuwa mnafanya mazuri mkaacha nimewapatia mfano wa ile kapo ambao walianza kufanya mambo yao one month walikuwa wamerudi tena kwa upendo go back haleluya unajua kuna wengine mlikuwa mnaandikania barua ulikuwa unaisoma mara tano sasa hiyo kabla hujawana picha ulikuwa unaweka karibu na bedroom hata una ukilala unaifunua unaiangalia mara tano hivi alafu unaiweka hapo na ni picha. Wengine kama mlioana kitambo wakati wetu wa kukuwa na communication. Kuna watu walikuwa naandikania barua, wana, wanaweka chini ya njiwe fulani, mahala fulani, unaenda unafunua hiyo njiwe, unafungua, unasoma barua. Ukienda ukifungua kwa kajiwa ukute hakuna barua unasikia mbaya sana. Watu wa kitambo, hiyo ndio story walikuwa nazo. Sema amen. Wa siku hizi uko na SMS, uko na kila kitu na utumii hata unaweza chati na watu wengine unaweza jibu ukicomment ukilike na utumie hiyo network kuongea na mtu wako do something that will revive your love say amen mm-hmm. na nitarudia tena kwa hiyo mambo interest pia inaweza potea because you are doing the same things all the time kuna wengine umezoea kifo ya mende kifo ya mende ukilala na mgongo tu ni hivyo full time kutoka uolewe 17 20 years wewe ni mende unakufanga tu <laughs> na bibilia inasema you shall be on the top only never at the bottom i don't know what you are doing at the bottom every time so hiyo pia inaleta shida because some people have decided to stay at the bottom only and this is a problem so ukikula mchele kila wakati mm? na na waru na cabbage na hiyo kitu kile utakuwa hautaki kukula tena lakini ikechinjiwa ugali lakini siku hii iko na kuku siku hii nyingine samaki siku hii nyingine inakuwa chini one of the problem of men listen to me women they like different things tunaeleanwa 
They won't change every time. That's why you should be different things to your husband at the same time. Different things. Walisema kuna research ilifanywa. Jogo. Siwi ilifanywa Amerika. Jogo ikaletewa kuku. Ikalala na huo kuku. Ika kanyanga ikaacha. Alafu kuku wakaleto wa rangi mwingine. Jogo akafufuka. Akamaliza na nae. Ikaleto ya rangi ingine. Akafufuka tena. Akaleto ya rangi ingine. Akafufuka. So ina ma, wakaanza kujua sasa. Hanapenda vitu tofauti tofauti. So wanaume wakono hiyo shida wanapenda vitu tofauti tofauti. That's why unafaa kuwa kitu tofauti. Leo umemvalia nywele zimeenda hivi, kesho unakuja umezifanya hivi. Tunaelewa? Siku nyingine mrefu, siku nyingine fupi, rinda mrefu, nyingine uh, mrefu kidogo, nyingine inafagia chini. Sasa hakikuona anaona vitu vingine tofauti tofauti. Lakini kama unakaa the same Kusu kwa kwako ni the same ama ulinywa nywele unakaanga kama mimi kila wakati lakini kuangalia hivi hakuna point ya attraction kwa hata vutiwa wengine ni wachafu na kama umeoa mwanamume ambaye ni msafi na wewe uwe mama mchafu hapo kutakuwa shinda unaweka ka wiki kana kama miezi 4 na nusu ukatoi kana kuwa na harufu sasa mzee hataki kukukaribia kwa sababu ya harufu Na wengine unajua wa mama mko na uchafu nyingi. Eh? Sasa ukioga na ukatae kuoga vizuri na huyu uko na staff kwa nyumba. Anaanza kukwaza. Ana attraction na wewe. So if you look nice, men like what they are seeing. Atakuwa kama ni wewe peke yako unasema mama peke yake ana attract ana hana rana mume wake tutaelewa. Lakini kama mzee pia ame miss interest angalia hiyo area sana ya attraction how are you looking how do you talk to this man how do you look yourself kama ukai vizuri hapo kutakuwa na shida tunaeleanwa so i pray that you look at your that so mengine okay i will join two questions because mm. tuko na mingi how often should you have sex the second one it is is which uh, is it, it, it it going to have sex three times per night and then you are working early ah uh, inategemea how many times you do you have as many times as you can it depends with the couple especially ingine ina vary na age unajua vile mtu ameanza kuzeeka hata generator pia inaanza kukosa nguvu hivi ndivyo napenda tunaeleanwa so yule ambaye alikuwa anafanya three times kuna inji atafika hata one time iwe sasa ni neema iko nyingi because the age also so those young people married you can even have nine times if your time is allowing or 10 kama time inaelewa then kuna yule ameuliza swali three times that means uh labda anaongea kitu ile wanaitanga round Three rounds. Na kesho unaenda kazi ya zubui. Hakuna mashidano. Inategemea ni vile muna kubaliana katika ile ndoa. Sema amen. So, ikiwa iyo itakaa ni jambo kama hindrance. Because it is for excitement. And something that is for excitement is not a job. Amba itakuida from another job. Ata inakupatia ra, inakufanya ulale vizuri, kuna excitement nyingi. So, in case kama yenu mnafanya kama mashidano kama unboxing na competition inafanya mtu achoke you need to change the way you are viewing it and the way you are doing because kama sasa inakuwa hindrance kwa kazi na unahitaji uende kazi hiyo asubuhi unataka wacha hata kwenda kazi asubuhi morning glory kama umeokoka sasa unafaa kuamka by 4 then unakuja ku take your destiny by by force hallelujah so that one depends on the couple. So if it is disturbing you, then you need to look for a way. Na kuna wengine, I read a shocking report from one of the couples uh, group I am, uh, Facebook group. Somebody gave a report from different statistics of different uh, researches. And I was shocked. Na report ilikuwa imesema, Less than, uh, more than 85% of ladies in marriage 
they have never experienced orgasm in marriage. You know, that, that's shocking. So, when I was here, I told you, I three times, after Mama loved her, Fiki, who can stay to Fiki. So, the aim is not rounds. The aim is to fulfill or satisfy the other person and to give that person excitement. So, come out your way, Fika Hapo, out your way, Fikishu. There is an issue. You need something. You need to understand yourself, and I pray that God will help you. Now, I want to finish by saying on the same issue. Poor worshippers are poor sex partners. Kama wezi abudu vizuri mpaka ujawe na roho. Uzame na muingiane na mungu. Mungu mpaka afike level ya kupatia begu yake. Au kupachike ndani. Hata wewa utaweza hiyo kazi. Utakuwa wadaka kamoja, wadaka kabili. Poor worshippers are poor sex partners. So kama utazama ndani ya roho atakufundisha hiyo mambo na utakuwa ya kwamba ukiona mume wako anafanya hivyo mwangalie vile anaviabudu mwangalie bila anaabudu kanisani utaelewa kwa sababu gani anakauka haraka ni kwa sababu kama wezi abudu ni kwa sababu kweli do the research uangalie kanisani ule pastor ako ready praise and worship wa the leading people are sinking they are crying mpaka tears zinakuwa na yeye ako hivi Hata huko, hata kufanyia hivi, hata shanga, unaenda wapi. Poor worshippers make poor sex partners. That is why, nasema, mambo ya sex power is, is somehow spiritual. Kuna wengine wanapewa power fulani, ili waperform. Sizi ya tuende hiyo power, power inatoka kwa Holy Ghost. Na inapatikana kwa worship. So, that's why... There is a connection between some worshippers and sex relationship. That's why unaona huko Corinth kulikuwa na sexual what? Immorality even in the altar. Kulikuwa na Angel Paul alikuwa anawaonya. Tunaelewa? So kuna ile kuna ile perversion, perversion of worship. So I pray that God will give you that understanding. So if you can sink before God until you part the power of the Holy Spirit, hata huko kuingine. God will help you. Kutakuwa na, kuna, iyo unafanyanga ni physical intercourse, na kuna spiritual intercourse through worship in his presence. So if you are poor in that, hata iyo ingine utakuwa poor. Aha, sawa. It's true that your wife or your husband truly loves you if he or she does not love your brothers or sisters. Hmm, Yes. Anaweza kuwa ni wewe alipenda lakini ana upendo wa ndugu zako na dada zako. Na upendo si kumaanisha ya kwamba anawachukia. Ni kumaanisha hawezi kuwa na romantic attraction ama that close intimacy na wewe na brother zako. Brother zako wanaweza kuwa pia wako na tabia zingine mbaya. That's why alikuchagua si 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 sister yako alichagua. Kuna vitu wanaweza kuwa wanafanya na wewe uko tofauti kwao. So, you should not force him to love your people if they have a certain issues ambazo anadisangri. For example, your brothers ni mbi drunkards. Na huyu mtu anachukia njia za za ulevi. So, usiwezi kumforce ya kwamba mimi apende afona wao watu hata wa respect kama watu wengi. Lakini they may not have a relationship that you may expect. Yawezekana sisters wako hata labda alikuja nyumbani akamkuta akaanza kumu kumfanyia vitu ambao zinaonyesha anamtaka. So ataweka mbaria. If you are, does not want to relate closely with your sister, there may be what? A reason. Umeona watu wame relate na sisters wengine wame break nini? Mbaria. Tuko sawa? So anaweza kuwa anakupenda na awapendi vile anapenda because there is a special thing about you which is not in your sister and your brothers but he may not, it is not a must that he hates your brother so ni wewe mwenyewe unafaa ujitengeneze hata wewe mwenyewe unaweza chukia ndanda yako na ndanda yako na mmezaliwa na ye hautaki si ati unamchukia vile lakini hutaki mahusiano yale ya karibu kuna vitu hata uweze mtumia uweza kakuje kwako Unaweka mbari ya fulani because unamjua jia zake si sio nzuri. Tuko sawa? 
sio unawezekana mtu anakupenda ndiye alikuchagua wewe na anakupenda kwa hivyo akikwambia wewe nakupenda lakini sista yako anafanya these and these urako na hivi na wengine anaweza kataa kukwambia because hataki kuharibu uhusiano wako na nani na sista yako so anaweza kuwa amemfanyia kitu mimi anataka walale na huyu akakataa na sasa kutoka hapo akaweka barrier the wise men do like that they put a barrier if you are not very close in your friendship as couple anaweza kataa kukwambia na akikataa kukwambia that can be an issue also i hope i have answered that Uh-huh. If your husband is not friendly to be corrected easily when he is wrong what will you do Now I want to advise on that Mwanaume akorektiwi kwa kuambiwa So uwezi keti chini na mwanaume umwambia sikiza ni kuambie uko na tabia hii uko na tabia hii uko na tabia hii uko na tabia hii na mwanaume akusikize the way we are created now he will not listen to you asome yangu na ambiwi kwa maneno kitu ya kwanza ya kuwini mwanaume ili aweze kupata mambo yale unamkosoa ni kwa vitendo kwa hivyo mwanaume anakosolewa kwa vitendo sasa ile unafanya vitendo vizuri unamtendea mambo mazuri So kama kuna kitu aupendi unaweza sema si ukiwa unamsomea unamwambia hii tabia sitaki hii tabia sitaki atakuangalia akuulize who are you vile umeanza kusema ndivyo ana resist ndio wanawake wanaambiwa wanawake wacha urembo wenu usiwe ni nguo hizi za nje ma hearing na marida amemeta wacha iwe ni na ile ina beauty ambo spirit that does not quiet and gentle that does not fade away so that your husbands who do not hear once they can be won over by your action so the man is changed by your action not by your words so wa mama wengine unafanya makosa unasimama kusomea bwana yako mwambia badilisha hii sitaki kukuona na itabia na kuuliza unafikiria mimi ni mtoto wangu who are you so hiyo itakuwa but matendo wakati unamtendea mambo mazuri there are something you can talk sasa ingine anaweza kukwambia niambie makosa yangu kama vile Esther aliambiwa aje omba chochote hata kama ni nusu ya nini ya ufalme nitakupatia so akifungua hivyo because you have shown him actions anafika sema yeye anakwambia tafadhali kama kuna shinda niko nayo tufanye nini niambie lakini ile mambo ya kujaribu kusomea mwanaume unajaribu kumkosoa that is a wrong way of doing it the man will not take it mumenzikia so mama usianze kusomea mume unatoka wapi unakuja saa ngapi unafikiria sasa utakuwa unatuweka kama watchmen hatulali watoto walali wanakungojea hii sabia atakuuliza <laughs> hey excuse me who are you reaction the more you talk the more he resist lakini ukimkaribisha aingie kwa nyumba ah uh, useme tashukuru Mungu umefika salama karibu then umekea chakula akule maji ya kuoga ama beef umeakayesha kila kitu namwambia enda uoge then anakuja unamuuliza umeshinda namna gani ama unangojea sasa ile amekula na mweza mumeshinda namna gani kumekuaje sasa anaanza kukwambia story hata zile ukua unataka ukua unataka uulizie zote unafanya nini zapo ndio atasikia kwenda nyumbani maana unampatia peace lakini kama wewe ni wa msomo unasomea bwana bwana mfalme kwake wengine hata unafanyanga vituko na mwambia look at me face to face and tell me Mwanaume ambi yangu hivyo wanaume waangaliangi face to face anakuangalianga face to face akitaka si sasa ile kuko na fujo he is a king unasikia so you don't do that to a man so humble yourself and you receive everything god bless you ngi anauliza how are you supposed to share your finances if uh, the need arises because sometimes Some men have no burden for the family uh, even in educating their own children. That's wrong. That's perversion. Number one, money belongs to the two of you. 
the money you earn in that family. And you are supposed to budget together, make the budget together, plan together, check the priority, the things that are need to be done first together. And these are the things you are supposed to do together in involving your minds together. If a man has no burden of even educating his own children, that is perversion. Kuna shinda, na naitaili aombewe hapa. Kama atipewa yu pesa atachukua atumie na njia zingine ambazo wazifaini familia, that's wrong. It should not be like that. Na inambiaga kapo hivi, if a person has a weakness of spending money, he should not be in control of money. Tumeleano? The, the control of money should be given to a person who has discipline in money. That is why, if you as a man, you can withdraw money at any time. Even without, it's good also to operate account and joint account where you need the authority of the other before you do what? You withdraw. So that we are on discipline. Even in discipline, you can do care. Because when you spend in a wrong way, mutakuwa na shinda na hiyo familia yote itakuwa na nini na shida so you must discipline yourself kama mama unajua you are weak in spending hata unaweza nunua vitu ovyo ovyo hata kandi unajua siku hizi pesa iko karibu na wewe hata ikiwa kwa account iko very close leave that can hello don't even carry any money with you in, in your m pesa ile ambayo unaweza kuwa tempted carry what you need and stick to the budget so in a family ambaye haina discipline ya budget mukisema ndio tunafanya na mustik mu you suffer financial challenges na kuna watu wengine because they have not put financial structures waweke vizuri katika maisha yao ya familia you earn more but you are suffering than people who earn less than you mpaka mnaenda kuomba ndeni hata kwa watu wako na pesa ya chini kuliko nyinyi maana hamuna mpango wa nini wa pesa so pesa lazima zipangiwe na mnataka mkumbuke there are two things, three things now that makes marriage separate so quickly. One is finances. Kama mta lida hiyo njia ya finances, italeta mtawanyiko katika familia. Number two is intimacy. Ima mbabao tukua tunongea, mamba ya romance na kila kitu. Number three, in-laws na extended party, uh, party uh, band parties. So, iyo ni njambo ambao mna style mulinde sana kama watu ambao wameoa make sure that you have financial discipline whether you are when you are earning more or less don't put yourself to high lifestyle ya vitu ambao hamjafikia tuko sawa balance do things that you can afford now as you go high nilikuwa nawaambia hapa nilikuwa nanunulia my wife earrings at 20 bob na anafurahi siku ile nilipata pesa nikanunua kiatu ya 1500 Na nikanjikaza nikanunua two pairs. Nikamuletea siku moja. Alijaa nyumba yote. Kwa zao ya 3,000. Alijaa nyumba yote. Haka sing around. So ilienda, ikaenda. Mbaka nikafika level na eza mununulia gari. Nimuletea nini? Funguo. Tuko sawa. So rise. Rise, rise. Don't force yourself to be where your finances has not helped you to go. Be disciplined. Uzitake kusukwa na elf 15 wakati mushara wako ni 17,000. Iyo ni ujinga. Unaweka nyuili hata kama zinaitwa Brazilian. Unaweka za 15,000 na utakuwa Brazilian. No. <laughs> Unabaki na 2,000. Sasa utakula iyo nyuele. Utalipa na yo rent. Valia za 1,500 ama za 2,000. Ukingojea mungu akupandisha hiyo level. Tuko sawa. Usitake kufaa kiatu ya 28,000, 30,000. Na mshara mpaka unachukua pesa ya chama. That's not, that's not wisdom. That is not wisdom. Eh? Unaenda kuchukua kiti ya 120,000. Na umekopa. Ili mukalie. Kiti. Kwa sababu fulani ya likuwa na kiti. Na kiti ya ingeni. Nunua yako ya 30,000 na ukalie kwa neema ya bwana. Mukitembea pale nyuma. Muzo the, 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 the sofas ile zinakaliwa na wamama pale zilitoka kwangu. Sema amen. Nilipiana hizo zingine ni kuondoa. 
Na hata kuna nyingi nimepeana hafta hizo. Lakini si kuwa nachukua ndeni ili niinue kitu. Ni level inafika. Unaenda hivyo unatoka ya dhate, unaenda ya 50, unaenda hivyo ukiinuka. Tuko sawa? Do what your money or what you are earning now. Uzikae kwa nyumba kwa, ama upeleke watoto shule. Muna walipia pesa so many so much that hata mnakopa mandeni na, na mnakuwa na ndeni kubwa huko shule na mwezi kulipa wapeleke hii ya free hii mnalipa pesa kidogo wasomea hapo mpaka Mungu nasema Mungu akituinua by the time mnaenda secondary Mungu atawafsaidia muende secondary mzuri tawapeleka university mzuri na maisha yaendelee sema amen don't put yourself under any what pressure balance okay all right how can how can one try uh -huh. how can all right how can one treat an argument is it wise just to let to let it go for a while and open up later even if your partner might not be comfortable and may wish may wish for discuss, uh, to discuss it may, may wish to discuss it immediately for reason one might avoid heated argument immediately and allow the issue to cool down but one i want to say this in in marriage all of you should not be up at the same time when a, one is up the other one must provide the ground to be where down because if you go up the two of you you are going to destroy what you have been building. So you must be sensible enough. In every argument, there is somebody who is hot than the other. So don't make yourself to be more hot than the one that you have hurt. Cool down. Cool the issue. Number two, if there is an argument, there is a contribution of one and the other, not one alone. Even if your contribution is 10%, the other one is 90. You have a contribution. So it means each one should accept with humility to take responsibility. You must apologize for your mistake. Number three, never ever leave home when you have disagreed and you have not been able to solve that problem. The devil is timing for that. He will use that opportunity. Siku hile umeita muke wako ngombe, ndi atakuta na muta mwambi, abari yako murembo, umianguka kutoka mbinguni sangapi, stoka hapo, shida imianza. Na uliato nyumbani umemuita nini? Ngombe. Hamefungua ro, kwa yule mtu wamefanya. So make sure you solve that problem. Don't allow some things to stay for long without being attended to. In case you have a disagreement and you feel you cannot talk and help one another, there are two things you can do. Number one, you can pray. You are all Christians. So you can say, let us pray for God to help us in this issue. The peace of the Lord that surpasses the understanding shall guard your heart in Christ Jesus. Another thing, you can call for assistance from a person you know can be neutral and speak to you. Tunaeleanwa, and that will be able to, or, to help you and help you to solve that problem in your family. Another one? These are several, but I will combine them. Eh? <laughs> your, someone is asking, discuss finances in marriage. How do you deal also with someone who has not yet healed from childhood trauma. Another one is asking, or she is asking, how to deal with relatives. How do you also deal with people who use silence as a weapon? They can go for even weeks without talking. Oh, we have talked about finances. When that question was asked, I was able to touch in uh, most of the areas in finances. So that one, I think, is settled. Number two now, if somebody was the trauma, uh, for child, from childhood, maybe there is something that happened, you are mistreated, you are hooded, we call them wounds, who call hooded. You should accept to be healed. 
Because if you don't accept that, then that will keep on hurting your family. It is very hard to live with a partner who is hooded. What wengine wako hooded, they don't trust anybody, including their husband, including their wives. They doubt them. The way you are treated by your mother, you think everybody is like that. So all those kind of things happens in a family. So you must, what heals the wounds is that accepting and letting it go and forgiving. Then the Bible says, confess your sins to each other and you shall be healed. So when you open up, then you will be healed. And that will be uh, something that comes out of your heart. So don't hide it. Don't cover it. Don't keep it as a secret. Open it up. And one time, you're going to be healed. And uh, don't revenge or don't keep on passing that blame to the other person. Because some people, to love them becomes difficult because of that kind of an issue. Accept it. Accept it as a problem. And look for healing. And when you do that, you shall be uh, uh, blessed. There are things I teach about the who dead warrior and all these kind of things. If you, you, you attend more training, you will be able to learn on how to come to the place of healing and come uh, to the place of acceptance and you, you are able to move on. Kuna watu wengine wanaumizana simply because of the way they were treated. Uliona mama yako, akipiga baba yako. So every time, there is something you feel about the man. Ama uli baba yako aliachwa na mama yako. Ukiwa mdogo. So unaunanga mke wako ni kama ataenda. Ama mama yako alikuwa so busy. Haka wachilia mke wa watoto mkateswa na wafanyikazi. So unataka mke wako wakai na watoto kila wakai. Utaki hata muache da kamoja. That's something that is uh, need to be coming out of your heart, out of your life. And uh, live normally when you accept the healing to take place. Kuna kitu mmetacha kwa hiyo uh, ambao ni mesao. How to deal with the relative. Lazima weke mpaka. A man shall leave his father and mother and shall be united with his wife and the two shall become one what? One flesh. So weka boundaries. Relatives are good, they are blessing. But weka boundaries. Weka boundaries between the best friends, especially of the opposite. Usiende na msiana fulani ama mama fulani anaenda kukusaidia kufanya shopping ili ya kusaidia kuchagulia mama mke wako ngonzuri um surprise kutoka hapo mtaanza kuchaguana na mtamalizana na kuchaguana haleluya na urafiki mwingine utazaliwa wapi hapo don't allow your your friends your your wife friend to visit you when your wife is not there or the husband is not there those things put barriers tunaziita tunaziita family boundaries don't stay with your sisters in your own home wakati unaanza kuona they are breaking some barriers unaona sister yako anataka kuvaa nusu uchi kwako nyumbani na anaketi kwa kiti opposite amewekelea mguu juu na bwana yako wako pale huyo uko naye si angel ni mwanaume ati bwana yangu ameokoka ana mambo aje aenda mbinguni ako wapi hapa duniani na dhambi ya sex immorality biblia inatuambia toroka kwa hivyo ni hatari sana ikabiliana ngwe hata kwa maombi shaka taka tai morality i rebuke you unaambiwa run away flee so put boundaries usikuja kuweka mama yako kwa nyumba number another thing protect one another usiende ku expose mke wako weakness zake ama mume wako kwa watu wao Sister yako akikuja tu umemwambia ha ah, huyu mume wangu aje akuja siku mbili alikuwa wapi amelala kanisani akuja hapa atusikisani ah, alienda kazini hakurudi ah, anakula kwa ofisi these things you should not talk to them watadharau yule mume wako so shield your husband shield your wife from all those kind of things finally if people who use silence as a weapon. They can even go uh, for weeks without talking. How do you deal with somebody who uses uh, silence as a weapon? They, they can go even for what? Sindu hiyo ndiyo tuliko tunandilo nae. Hakuna aja kunya maziana. Kuna mwingine anaona akiongea ata kuduru. So make them laugh. Make them uh, uh, experience acceptance. 
make them feel they are valid. Awe zi nyamaza bure, awamuke tu pu, ame nyamaza. Lazima kuna vitu zimetedeka. So, create that environment. Ya kwamba munaeza kosoana, munaeza fanya, uh, unaeza elimisha mwenzako, unamwesha mwenyesha njia. And don't use that silence as what? A weapon. Kwa yule mwingine. Don't use that. It is, it hurts. If you are, you are not okay, speak. Mwambie mimi si fraish. Na ukiona na ya menyamaza, try to talk to him. Mwenyesha action, ama a, ah, mwenyesha actions. Ukifaniza kumwenyesha actions, nzuri, then you may win the heart. Remember, kuyu mutu siyo strange kwa wako. Ni mutu ulimpenda, ukamchagua miongoni mawatu wengi, na ukona uyu anafaa, na amuja anza hapo. Kuna maale mumefanya nini? Metoka. Zile triki ulitumia kumpata, kama uku uletewa, ulingiletea, siitumie tu kila wakati. Sema amen. Zitumie kila, kila wakati, na utaongea na yei. Kuna watu nina wapendanga sana, unamuongelezeo, na maya fulani ya fanya this and this. Ana kambia uye ni mtu wangu. Nipatia yeye tu. Nitandilo na yeye, najua vile nitamfanya, tutakuwa na yeye hapa. Nenye unamuona, anaenda na anamchukua na anamuona. So, wata wewe jua mtu wako. And when you do that, you are going to be blessed. Is there any other question? Ukona swali, ungetaka kuuliza, ukona boldness, tuneza kukupatia microphone, uuliza, then tumalize. Is there anyone with a burning question? Uh, kuna mtu pale, pupatia microphone. Ama ukuje mbele kama utaweza. Come, 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 come. Kuja huku bele, hibi uonekana na kamera. Ama kama utaki uonekana na kamera, just you can ask. Uh, a lady was asking, akona buwanake, lakini buwanake hana mapato mingi. So ye ya nafanya kazi, ana provide almost everything. But now when it comes to the relatives wa buwana, buwana anawaonyesha, ni huyu bibi yangu anafanya nikose, ndo maana sina kakitu ya kuwasaidia, like wakati buwana anaitishwa kitu nyumbani. Anawambia, unajua sasa, sisa sina usaidizi huku, ndo maana sasa alikuwa Mke wangu ananyonya kila kitu. Eh, na yeye ndo anaprovide kila kitu. Hiyo uh, inaitua hypocrisy. So huyo ndanda amewa mume ambaya sio straight for one anamtumia bibaya ku cover up wakati ya kuna weakness. Ha, ni vizuri angesema hata hii mambo tunaendelea naye nyumbani hapa ni mke wangu amefanya nini? Amesimamia mimi sina nini? Sina pesa. Hiyo ni truth. So that man is not born again and he is not straight. Kwanza anataka Mungu. Hiyo ndio itamsaidia kwanza because if una unaongea na your relatives unawaambia pesa zangu na wewe hauna mapato na unajua Pesa zangu zinaenda sana na mke wangu ndiye anakula ndiyo siwezi kukwa afford kuwasaidia. Na mke wako ndiye anasimamia mambo yale mengi kwa nyumba. Then that is wrong. That man is not straight. There is a problem. Anafaa kuwa anaongea the truth. Anasema mimi sina mapato lakini for now my wife ndiye amekuwa kilipa bills, ndiye amekuwa akifanya this. I'm trusting God to lift me financially. Say my amen. So huyo mama anaumia sana kwa sababu number one, the way women were wired, wiring yao, hawakuwa wired kubeba load. Tuko sawa? They were not wired to carry what? Load. Load ni ya wanaume. Ni sisi tulikuwa wired kubeba load. So anytime mama mebeba mzigo ule mkubwa wanjami, anaumia sana. Na kwa structure yake ya maumbele, anasikia this is unfair. This is unfair. Aunangi kiuwa fair. Mama ako free wakati ambapo ana aja fanywa main. Anatumia pesa yake kufanya vitu. Lakini siya ki unamtegemea diyo main. Di anabeba. Iyo haja umbwa kufanya na mnaio. Sisi ndiyo tumeumbwa kama wanaume kubeba nini? Load. Diyo mambo mengi ya nakuja kesu. So if you are blessed na mungu kuwa na mke yako na mapato na wewe kuna kitu ambacho utamwepushia load ya kubeba mawazo sema amen load ya kubeba nini 
mawazo mtengenezea mazingira kiwango ya kwamba aone kama anakuwa misused wakati hata anatumia pesa zake because akianza kufanywa hivi atasikia kama ako misused maana hiyo ndio wiring yao ndugu anaumbwa so sisi ndio tumeumbwa tubebe mzigo tuwajengie nyumba na iwe yao alo tuwapatie pesa wapike chakula na chakula ni chao ni mama anakupea all those things we are created to do that so men are created to carry burdens women they are assist uh, or pretend to help so don't don't make her feel that she is doing mistake by promoting you by helping you na onyesha vision ukiwa na vision mama atakupatia pesa zote na hata sikia kitu maana kuna vision anaona unajenga lakini akiona hauna vision you are just spending and there is no vision sasa itaanza kuleta disaster Corra- uh, 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 collision itaanza ndani ya hiyo marriage na kutakuwa na issue but when you have vision you have a vision the woman has no problem in supporting your vision so men let you have vision you may not have money but you have what vision that you can help to plan that money na mlete mazuri katika hiyo mboma hiyo itakuwa nzuri na mtaweza kubarikiwa sema amen kuna mwingine alikuwa na karibu ya kuuliza eh patiana huyo Okay, I have two questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are living in the society whereby uh unapata some kids wana raiseiwa na a single parent and wakiingia in marriage wako na expectations za like some of mimi I have been raised by a single mom. So when I get into marriage, I expect yule mtu nimepatana na yeye to give me the fatherly love and vice versa patana na jama ame raiseiwa na the father was maybe absent so when ama the mother so when you get together akona ile expectation ya unampea ile love maybe akupata from the mother ama the father that is one second ah uh, yesterday nilikuwa na rafiki yangu she has a case she was ameolewa ameolewa tu juzi by a guy mwenye alikuwa married lakini waliachana na the wife so the girl ameolewa lakini they have an issue whereby awakosani the the wife huyu waliachwa the issue is the kid that walikuwa na huyu walikuwa na yeye na huyu mama so wamekuwa polisi nini nini and the guy aliwoniwa waachana na mtoto because the mother said she raised the kid alone so waachane na yeye so wamekuwa na drama even to an instance jamaa anaambua na the mother hata si mtoto wako so this lady ameolewa she is even pregnant lakini the guy anaona mtoto kisiri the mtoto mwenye bado analeta the drama so kumekuwa na hizo baby mamas dramas baby daddies so hizo ni cases zimekuwa in the society uh zenye zina happen okay thank you very much i will start with the uh, first one Uh, unaolewa na mtu ambaye amelelewa na single mother that means she has never been fathered then na wewe umelelewa na single mother you have never been fathered that that thing is very painful in marriage tunasema if you have never been fathered you can never father if you have never been fathered fatherhood is passed from generation to generation That's why Mungu al provide avenue. If you missed your biological father, he can give you an uncle who stands a figure of what? A father and can provide a fatherly counsel to you. He can give you a teacher in a school where you go. I'm in position for that purpose who appears like a fatherly figure in you. He can give you a pastor in the church also who appears like a father to take care of that gap because it must be filled anyway the same way when you have not been mothered you meet mothers in different places god can place a teacher in a form of a, a mother an aunt who plays the role of a mother when you can come to the church and you meet a, father, a mother also there who plays that god has brought a solution in that way but now when you get married the expectation is high 
Number one, not only because you have never been fathered or you have never been mothered. It is because you may not know how to react in certain issues. Wakati ambapo unapata mtoto, you are afraid that mtoto wako anaweza unaweza shindwa kufanya because you how kuona in how practical way ikiwa inafanywa. And those are the fears about zinaletwa kwa wengi na zinaleta condition flani. So when you are uh, deep in salvation, God solves a lot of problems. The Bible says anointing teaches us all what? All things. So you can be able to be a good father by the help of the Holy Spirit and you can be a good mother by the help of the Holy Spirit and you can be able to provide that. So the only thing you need to do is to be very keen on how you treat that person. You give them the special treatment and then you raise your standard to fill the gap of a mother. Because the wife, are you getting me? The wife should have the husband as the first son. And the husband is the original father of the wife. That's why the Bible says a man shall leave his father and mother and shall be, uh, be joined with his wife and they shall become one flesh. So the wife is not looking just for a husband. Is looking for a father in marriage. Because the woman cannot stay without being fathered. A man can stay without being mothered. But the woman cannot stay without being fathered. That's why the husband play a role of a father. So a man you should deserve and become a father that the wife did not miss. Say amen. My wife I a testimony mara nyingi. Anasema, I stood the gap of the father that she she not enjoyed that fatherly love. But I stood with that love. And she understood it. And now she enjoys that kind of uh, love. So you are many things to your spouse. You can be a father. You can be a mother. You can be a sister. You can be a friend. You are many things. And what you arose at a certain time is what stands up. Your spouse can be your mentor. Your spouse can be your best friend. Can be your father. Can be your little boy. Whatever you raise at that moment, you know to undress you time the other tokea. Tunaeleanwa many in one. Tunaeleanwa hapo. Ah, uh, hii ingine ya mwisho ni about the baby and the the couple that are married. So, if the mother does not want huyu mwanaume au sike na mtoto. Na mwanaume anasikia ako na right ya kuhusika kwa mtoto. Kuna sheria so anafaa kuenda kwa uh, koti ya watoto hiyo mambo ya inahusika na, 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 na children welfare then watampatia guideline ataweza kupewa time uh, of course the law favors the mother the mother is the one favor not unless kuwe na proof ya kwamba huyu mama anaweza hamu mtoto ama ana uwezo wa kumtunza hapo ndio anaweza chukuliwa kama hana hiyo report mama ni mulevi ni careless anafanya hivi ana approach mtoto kwa danger that means sasa hana hana right ya kupokonya huyo huyo mama mtoto law inampatia mama mtoto mpaka afike age ya 18 sasa ndiyo aweze kuamua ataenda upande gani mtoto mwenyewe lakini akienda kwa watoto kama ni ile eh, anataka tu kuona mtoto wake na anataka kumtembelea atapewa that because anaweza kuwa ako na hiyo fatherly love anataka kuwa na mtoto lakini huyu naye anataka kutumia that advantage akiona hiyo weakness anapenda mtoto anataka kutumia hiyo advantage kumtocha psychologically ama kumfanya awe unstable so advice hilo unafaa kupatia rafiki yako wacha aende kwa hiyo uh, welfare ya watoto apewe that uh, ruling ya kwamba anaweza ona mtoto wakati fulani so anaweza kutembelea yule yule mtoto na huyu mwingine naye Iyo stress sasa itaenda kwa mama. Maana sasa ni mambo inakaa mvutano, mama ako hapo, ndoa iko hapo. So that will bring peace wakati atapewa hiyo direction, atakuwa anaona mtoto anaweza mchukua weekend hii, wanakaa na yeye. Na huyu mama akatai kama mama akatai hiyo mtoto, uh, then there's no problem in that. Hiyo inaweza kuwa easily solved. The only challenge can be when the new wife now huyu ameoa na yataki kuhusu mambo ya huyo nini? Ya mtoto. Sasa that can be bring complication in that case. But the law can help in that case. Because of our time, let us stand up. Kuna mwingine amefinywa. Sikuwa najua mko na maswali mengi hivi, nilikuwa namekrea hamuna. 
walinyamaza na nyinyi ni waerefu sindi mjibigia makofi you are very clever you are very clever ah uh, to our online church nitakuwa na another dinner of couple this friday uh, not here but in Kajiando county jcc ongatarogai so kama mnasikiza na mko sehemu hiyo we shall still have another dinner for the couples in Kajiando and Saturday we shall be having the seminar for the couples they are there they are there so we invite you uh, our online church i have said that so that i will not forget the rest of us here just lift up your hands and speak to god about your family we have addressed so many things and i believe your marriage has moved to another level can you thank god can you thank god for the far he has carried you can you thank god for the blessings that he has given unto you and your family in the mighty name of jesus can you can you thank him can you thank him for the far he has taken you for the far he has taken your life shalaba kanta mashalaba Makanta raba katala shakinta malabaza makanta raba shakata in the mighty name of Jesus Father we thank you for our family we thank you for our marriages we thank you for our children we thank you for our home we pray that you establish our marriages for the glorification of your holy name I want you to turn to your partner get hold of your partner get hold of your spouse every one of us um the starting point uh, where you have not been able to take care of that person because the bible says you should take care of that person to impress that person to please that person the way you are after pleasing god can you talk can you talk to the to the to the to, to your partner can you ask for forgiveness unaweza uliza usamehewe uliza usamehewe pale ambapo hauja play ile role vizuri hata kama hako mbali kwa imani mwambie nisamehe sija play hii role na utaenda na utaenda